What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside he only does everything, Colin Moriarty. It's good to be here, Greg. You did a bang up job hosting the show last week. Everybody knows I couldn't be here last week. Colin did it. Thank you. All the tweets saying how much they loved you. Thank you. It reminded me of when Clements and I used to do podcasts Beyond Without You. The fireside chats. And we used to just do the fireside chats. I think we did five of them. (laughs) And uh, we can't replace you, of course, because you're too loud. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) But we did our best. We did our best. You're too loud. You're too too fat. Uh, too no. slow, Billy Bob. These are Varsity Blues references. Yeah, Varsity. Yeah. <laughs> Very, thank what, you. We'll have it? a whole episode about Varsity God, Blues. God, can day. we please have an episode <laughs> about Varsity Blues? The best uh, show ever. But no, thank you. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. I did the best I can. Don't ever leave again, though. I don't. You know, I don't like the, the, the center being in the center of attention, Greg. I, I like know. you being the center. Of you attention. like to be the Ed McMahon, you always say. Yeah, I just want to be the Ed McMahon. You want or the Vince McMahon. Depending. Yeah. You want to be Vince just so you can McMahon. do the walk. Yeah, just so I can do that awesome gif. But Vince walk. McMahon is like the center of the WWE universe. That's true. You can't. You I can't, can't have it both that. ways. Yeah, you okay. can't do that. Over there, the pure one, Tim Geddes. Let Tim host. Hey, mm. now before we went on camera, Kevin, <laughs> yes. of course, every Game Over Gregor show insults me. He insulted you and said, "That's a shirt. You want to wear a shirt that's not that stupid." It's a stupid shirt. I like that shirt. I think a lot. it's a fine shirt. I think it's it's nice. a. You look like the pure one. I'm looking at the. Mo- I have to do the Nick Scarpino thing and monitor the levels over there, so I have to be looking at the monitor. Pure dance. That's the pure you dance. You just kind of shake mm-hmm. your shoulders. Well, there you go. If you're listening to us on Bandcamp, the MP3, now you got to come to the <laughs> video. You, you kind of do like dance. an apparition, though, in that, in that show. <laughs> he looks like an apparition? He looks like an Abercrombie and Finch model. Is what he looks there you like. go. Oh. You ahead. know, me and Alfredo once applied to be Abercrombie you and Finch models. did not. We did. did, what, to we what, did. what exactly did that entail? Um, we wanted to be the people that stand there at the uh, the door. Oh, oh and the live, the live people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want? Yeah, to be not like, like the picture models. <laughs> you want to be like the Zac Efron at yeah. the end of the hit yeah. movie Neighbors. We didn't get it. <laughs> no, big surprise. Uh-uh. I'm surprised how afraid it. it was. He yeah, cut them because he's cut. No, now. he was a little stick dude. We still stick now. Now, now he's a stick dude with the muscles. Okay, yeah. muscles. Then the producer slash seducer Nick Scarpino gone. We now have a new thing. We're not the whole cast. Can't I thought be here. you were trying to say she was Nick. No, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what? Hey, everybody! She's good at voices. I don't know if she can pull off a Nick Scarpino voice. I need to then. hear him like one more time. <laughs> and then I'd, I'd have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got yes, yes, Nick I'm Scarpino's talking. off on assignment, so mm-hmm. we found somebody to fill his boots. None other than Melissa Hutchison. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna happy push to the mic here. closer to you. It's fine. Oh, yes. You Sorry. No, you're fine. You're coming in. F- I can hear you. I'm wearing the Nick Sarpino headphones. They smell like shadow boxing. <laughs> I know everything. Uh, people probably know you from a million different places, and most notably, The Walking Dead, the yes. video game. You're Clementine. Most notably, you're my I am favorite. Clementine. That's pretty nine-ish, awesome. Nine-ish, nine-ish year old girl, Aww, eight-ish thanks. year old girl. Where is she in that yeah, thing nowadays? She's Somewhere in there. Yeah, like ten. Okay. Ish. Yeah. Ish. Like when, ishes. When you went into to you know to try out for that part. Did, did you know that it was going to be like a little girl and they just said it's like a, it's just a young girl or a teenage girl my, my, my calendar my down abbey calendar before we start this show no, 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 no. goes oh shit and then he gets up and I'm like leave the po- leave the downtown Allen abbey calendar alone now you happy yeah I'm, I'm totally content with I'm totally content with what happened it's, there's nothing I can do about it now it's a cosmic thing. Just it's like just the Titanic just in Downton Abbey. It is what yeah, it is. It is, it is, yeah. Well, the, the Downton Abbey's first episode Abbey. is about the Titanic. Exactly, right? that's how I know about it. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm just curious. It's just a total aside. It has nothing to do with anything we're going to do today. All right. But I'm just curious, when you went into that, that tryout or whatever. The, a tryout. The tryout. <laughs> the tryout. When really you went into the tryout. The coach has, like, the, the list coach of the had, Yeah, the coach is checking <laughs> off the box you and you're watching suck. game film. Right. Did you know that it was... Like, did you have to practice, like, a, as, as a young girl, or was it, like, just, did they not know yet, like, that it was going to be No, they knew it was going to be... The, the I was given the description, some direction, and then there was the art came with it. Oh, okay. Did you see so the there, hat? So you know there was, was a that? hat involved? A hat? <laughs> did I did. Did you know there was a hat involved? She okay. had it's, her I'm little sorry. hat on and it was a little white dress, Good. and there was character description and all of that, and I kind of just... Did. It's very cool. Yeah. In that head. Yeah, because I, I, for the hand makes, motion. I, yeah, I have tentacles that I, come out of my brain. I ask because I just wonder because obviously the part was written for like a young girl, like whatever it was, kind of like Ellie in The Last of Us or whatever. Right. But I wonder if they knew when they heard your voice, they're like, this is perfect for a girl of this age. Well, and, and they maybe thought it was going to be a, a different a different age. Right? Just a, they just actually did audition children for that role as well. So it was me. You beat out the kids. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Well, I think it's just such dark content mm. that they needed someone a little more seasoned. Yeah. Some darkness. A grizzled dark veteran. times under grizzled their veteran belt. of darkness. Yeah, I know. So right? the trial went good and the coach had the coach invited you on the team and you did. Yeah. Yes. yes. You went from J V to V. Yeah. Uh Melissa, here's what I want to know. Oh, oh Portillo wants to know goes. something too. He's on the hunt for something. Uh, we didn't tell you this beforehand. Okay. How do you feel to be in a cursed chair? 
Oh, God. The last person uh, who was a guest on this show... Is now dead. ...crashed their motorbike. <laughs> Shit. Smashed their clavicle. Oh. Collarbone, right? Collarbone. He, he, said, same thing. Thing. he said clavicle on the thing, but I thought it was Clavicle's the same thing. All right, yeah, there you right? go. I just learned some stuff. Because I broke mine, too. Well, me, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's what? when I... Is it I, always about you? You got a one-up no, story about No, but that's Damon. when I... Lo- Greg, you're the ultimate one-upper. Let's talk about the Hulk Hogan video. Let's talk about all this. You never let me have anything at all. But I'm just telling you that I heard the I word... I never will either. I, I, I heard the word clavicle for the first time when I broke my clavicle. I broke both my clavicles. You did that not. for one-upping. True story. How did you do that? One Wait, of them, I one? slipped and fell while running the mile in high school. Uh, the damn True the story. mile. The second one was also in high school in <clears throat> PE when they made us do yoga and I was pissed off about it. What? And they were like, hey, Tim, do a handstand. I'm like, I can't do a fucking handstand. He's like, Mr. Prutz. Damn you, Mr. Prutz. Fuck you, Mr. Prutz. He made me do a Namaste, handstand in front of the class. I went up. Namaste, Mr. Prutz. I went up and I went straight down. <laughs> the Damn. other one broke. Damn, wow. that sucks. How, how, like, what was the time span between them breaking? Uh, eighth grade and tenth grade. God, collarbone injuries suck, man. Really, really hurt. Really, really hurt. Uh, I think. So thanks for putting me in this me. chair. Oh, no, I, I, we it got, was the worst. Is, I can't wait. I'm sh- I know you've talked about watching this show before, so you're aware. We get off the yes. topic real quickly. What I was trying to do was say <laughs> <laughs> well wishes to Damon Hatfield. Yes, yes. He was hurt. He filled in last week That's, and got hurt afterwards. Yeah, he was in bad shape. Yeah. Like he, he had surgery because, like, I don't know what yours was like, but I remember when I broke mine, I was a senior in high school, and it was like the worst pain ever not be, not from breaking it because i broke it when i was on my bmx and i and my chain broke and i fixed my bike and biked to my friend like where my friend was oh working to agree with the hospital so the injury itself i knew something was wrong but it was like a day or two later when you're trying to do literally anything mm-hmm. and you're like i had no idea how much i used this like i remember the first day my alarm clock went off and i went to like go get it and i like screamed out in pain i was like i can't ah! like, you can't move i couldn't get in and, in and out of a car i couldn't sit down or get up i like it was just <laughs> when he when I found out he broke his clavicle, I was like, "Holy shit!" That mm-hmm. Did you sucks. did you scream like someone tickled you? No, 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 no. That's you know what that's all about. That's but. a real pain. So I just realized I messed up and I lied. You doing I did not break my clavicle <laughs> by <laughs> doing the mile. That's when I broke my whatever bone this is. Oh. Thumb, thumb bone. That's, thumb, the thumb hand. bone. That's your hand. That's a good story. I was like picturing you like no, falling in such a way that you like I did land fall, on your clavicle. I did clavicle. break it while running, but it wasn't running the mile in high school. It was running the mile. In high school, not running the mile, I was running in high school at my little brother's, like, elementary school thing. They were doing, like, this, like, festival, and there was an obstacle course, and I was racing a kindergartner. Oh. Oh, jeez. And there was a part where you had to, like, (laughs) go down and, like, you know, get underneath the ropes or whatever, like, army style. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is the finish line. I'm just going to dive into it. It's going to be super cool. (laughs) And you broke Not your so collarbone cool. that way. I broke my collarbone and he won the race. Not so cool. <laughs> That's Literally insulted your the, injury. Tortoise in the hair. Yeah, the tortoise, tortoise in the hair. In the hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the concept of the Game Over Greggy Show is simple. Each week, four, sometimes five best friends gather around this table. Each bringing a random topic of conversation for your amusement. Colin, how did you did you like not doing the pound last week? Yeah, I, I, I refused to do it. I know. I, saw I felt it. wrong. I didn't like it I'm my own man. So that's a show that wasn't worth a dollar to you. That one was not worth a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was worth a dollar. You should buy it again if it was. Um, no. If I four times my best friends, you can the table, your table. If you like that, <laughs> there are a number of ways to support us. I'm screwing with my microphone real fast. Sorry. Was that what that was? It sounded like a blender. No. That, was, that was a blender. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought like something she was doing. I was like, how? What the hell did you no. just do, woman? Uh, you can support us in a number of ways. You go to patreoncom slash funny. You can get the new episodes before anyone else in both video and MP3 form. If you don't think we're worth any money, then there on Vimeo, Vimeo, Bandcamp, or anywhere else. It's easy. You can wait. YouTube.com slash kind of funny. The shows go up for free, topic by topic, day by day, a week later for your amusement. Those are all the plugs. It's time for the show. Yes. Melissa. Yes. You're the guest. Okay. Guests go first. Okay. What did you bring us? Um <laughs> my my it was kind of funny because um <laughs> <laughs> I had so many topics and I was I was saying to myself, God, these are all so incredibly stupid. And then I got here and I discussed some of them with you and you're like, oh my God, we've already talked about that. And I was you like, yes. You don't realize how stupid this you show is. You are <laughs> my people. It's a fun yeah. Um, so are we, are we talking topics? Is yeah. that what I'm bringing what's you? What's your topic? Yeah, what's your topic of the show? So I was kind of, here's just, it's a it's a what if kind of type thing. Or, One of my favorites. Or if you could, mm-hmm. or would you, mm-hmm. um, if you could read some people's thoughts read people's minds yes but every time you did that 
you lost one of your own memories, whether it be a big memory, a small memory, you don't know. No, there's no it's order random. to it. It's there's not no, like I'm saving over. It's a random over. memory. Mm, very dangerous. Yeah. No, I want to do it. Never. Not once. <sighs> you couldn't risk it. Yeah, that's the problem. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't do it, but I if I had here's my here's my main concern <laughs> right. with this power Tell me. is if I had it, I want to know how easy it is to read somebody's mind. Like, is it something yeah. I've got to do? Like, the mind mother? Is it just gonna right. be like one day I'm like, what is Colin thinking? And I'm just feeling like, oh, oh you I don't want to know. I forget, you know, my original address or something. <laughs> well, and that's funny too because actually, it, if you waste that power and you think someone's like really like having this intense thought <laughs> or like I think they like me <laughs> and they really they're like I really have to take a shit, whatever. Yes. Then you're like you wasted. A mind reading, and then yeah, you come out of worthless. it, and you don't remember that that's your dog. Yeah. Oh, no, not Portillo. I'm just that's saying. That's a huge memory. How would I forget that's that? A huge, it's a risk. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. How are you going to know? But I feel like we have a lot more useless memories than good memories. True. I, 100%. Like, I, saw, I was talking about the fact that, you know, I know none of your phone numbers. My mm-hmm. phone knows your phone numbers and tells when I need to, I just hit right. your name. But I can tell you, you know, Poe's uh, parents' phone number because I yeah. called it every day growing up, right? right. But I don't need that information right, right now. Yeah. It's good to have, though. I yeah. guess. It's nostalgic. Yeah, I but guess, would you trade well, that for, like, being able to read my mind? <laughs> can you read my mind? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's tempting. I it's a tempting thing. That to, I mean, th- there's so many parts to this because you don't know what you're going to get, right? I mean, that's what you're saying. You don't know what you're yeah. going to get when you do it. At any given time, I can get some oh. bullshit. I can get something profound. And I, it's so risky because even though mathematically you're going to lose something that doesn't matter that you probably didn't even know you remembered anyway. You, it, yeah. It's a risk that you're going to lose something really important. Now you bring up an interesting point here. You said it could be random bullshit, yada right. yada. So you're. It's not. Mm, this is interesting. Yeah, you, I've never thought to, of this before. You'd have to set. You're. It's not like a filing cabinet where you're going in and getting information. It's just like right now. What is she thinking? Right. Like that's all I get. Right. I assume I, that that's the rule. Right. That's what yeah. you're saying. So so I, our I, hypotheticals I, get very yeah. complicated. Yeah. Yeah. The more we're fast discussing it, the more I'm like, what show. a stupid fucking topic. No, no. This this is because it's all like thumbs down. It's like why would you? Yeah. Why would you waste possibly losing any of your memories? Whatever I thought of mind reading, I always think of it as you want to know something and they know it, so you get it from them. I've never thought of it just as oh, what are you thinking? right now that's what i i guess i guess it would but i mean i don't think about mind reading i guess i do think about mind reading quite a bit like you know professor (laughs) i'm sure you do (laughs) that doesn't surprise me (laughs) professor x's abilities go beyond just beyond what's happening right now on your on the forefront of your mind right but you when i think about it it is like you're asking the question where are the bodies buried and you think about where the bodies are buried, and that's how I would know where the bodies are buried. Oh, oh so you elicit uh, the thought. Yeah. Damn. Right, 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 right. You got right, the right, comic yeah. book pro coming in here. Yeah. yeah. Mm, but you can get tricked then. Theoretically. I mean, but... I, like a person can trick a lie detector. So they can... Yeah, like, but they, they don't know. But I mean, I, see, this is always the weird thing about mind reading, too, again. Like, how much are we getting? How long is the window open? Where is it, is bear- it a Jacob situation where you're, like, shaking? Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. And, like, you're, you're in body. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Sorry, it's an obscure podcast beyond reference. It's not like that obscure. You'd believe it. Um, <laughs> if I ask where the bodies are buried and I the door opens to Tim's head... Is he? Is he, is he, and he? I guess he knows. Is he just going brown, 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 brown? He's yeah. just thinking the word brown. Right. <laughs> like, so, right. Mm. There's a lot of layers to this onion. Yeah. yeah, that's why. That's what makes it an onion. I feel like I would just do it all the time. You would do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. No, you wouldn't. Well, no, I mean, I like somewhere. a lot of my memories, but I, like I said, it's a probabilities game, and like well, I feel like there's for the a record, lot of it times. sounds like you don't even have memories to begin with. You're like, <laughs> I broke my clavicle. Didn't wait, not. Well, no, I, I said it. I just. I, no, I, didn't. I got that right though, so there was the memories. But I could forget that, and that'd be okay. You know, the thing is that you're going to forget something you don't even realize you forget. Like, I was just thinking you just forget. Like, you're not going to know what you forget. Right. So one day someone's oh. going to be like, oh, what's nine times nine? And you're going to be like, yeah, I thought I knew that. Yeah. And that's going to be the memory. It was 81. But you didn't know that because that's the memory you lost. If you lose that memory, who cares? You can relearn that. Mm-hmm. The danger mm-hmm. is yeah. losing the memory of your first kiss. Right. Yeah. I could do without uh, that. Yeah, Defining I know, right? moments. <laughs> really? Would that make your second kiss your first kiss then? Yeah. I guess so. But nobody remembers their second kiss. Yeah, I know, but you would. That'd be your first. No, you wouldn't, because my mind's. What that, was I'm my saying second my kiss? mind's are exactly. That's my mind's already so shot oh. that to sit here and be like my second kiss. There's no like. I mean, I remember my first kiss definitively. I don't remember. You know what I mean? The woods, Glen Ellen, whole bunch of kids. What are we doing? Being stupid. That you know what I mean? I remember that. <laughs> I remember those nuggets in the second what? one. Whatever. Oh, but you wouldn't want to lose that memory. Is that a nostalgic, important memory? No, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't yeah. want to ruin that, lose that. And if I did lose it, and then you're like, "What's your first kiss?" I'm like, "I don't remember." I'm a, I'm yeah. a man I don't remember of the woods of Glen Ellen. Nostalgia. Right. Oh, yeah. That's nostalgia. If there's one thing, I look at your, you look at your tattoos. They're yeah. all nostalgic. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And I wouldn't want to lose that history. 
You know? Yeah. I wouldn't want to lose that history. That's very important. If I knew that I wasn't going to lose, like, an important memory, and I'm not even saying an important memory, but just in terms of specifically things that I have done because I obsess over my past and the past generally. I just love it. You obsess over everything. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just, yeah, basically just a ball of nerves all the time. Yeah. But uh, I, I wouldn't want to lose, like, it would just be so sad for me to lose, like, you know, a great memory from when I played hockey or a great memory from my parents <laughs> or... I'm glad to see hockey beat out your parents. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I have so many awesome memories, like you know, from from playing hockey. Because I haven't played since since I was a you know an old teenager or whatever. But um, yeah, I wouldn't want to lose something like that. You know, it's too dangerous. So I just wouldn't. And like, what's the what 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 is the opportunity cost? Yeah. So like, yeah, what's the like? Say that whatever you get from someone's mind gets you a million dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, right? I'm scheming on what we're using. You're the yeah, schemer that's, of the group. that's what I was thinking as well. All right, what what, what situation, like, what are you going to use it for? You're like, you, you're like, I got this power. You want to hold hands? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you got this power. You want to use it once. What are you going to use it on? Airline miles. I want to find a way to get a lot of airplane miles that's... so I can fly wherever I want. How you are do that you with gonna, money, though? How are you going to do that with, <laughs> yeah. This is like Homer and the peanut thing. I don't <laughs> know. Ah, 20 bucks, I wanted a peanut. <laughs> Why, fool? Money. Money, I was going to buy many peanuts. Explain how. Yeah. Do you, what, what are you going to use it for? One time. Well, you get, you, get this, you know it's going to happen. You're going to lose a memory. What well, are that's you using the thing. It, is I, it would have to be like, yeah, it's kind of complicated. Because if it was about winning a lot of money or something, or, or like a reward, like this, mm-hmm. this, you know, find this person or solve this mystery and you get a million dollars, but then you can't. Yeah, you look at someone and they're going brown, 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 like you said. Well, I like how you you jumped that. I'm thinking of like, what like bingo thing do they ever do? (laughs) They pull out and they're like, all right, what is everybody? Oh my God. See, this is where I would fail. (laughs) I'd be like, oh, damn. You're like, yeah, to, I would you're, just not even know. First off, you're interrogating witnesses. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm also, already on CSI. Before yeah, you there. went after this, you announced to the world you had this power. <laughs> yeah. but, hey, everybody, by the way, I made a deal and with I'm the gonna devil. And I'm going to use it once. Yeah, to make a million dollars. Well, that's the thing with <laughs> a lot of these. motherfuckers think Bingo. of brown. These what if, what if situations. Vegas. You could just tell people and be like, yo, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm going to forget some shit, but I'm going to read that motherfucker's mind so I know some stuff. I feel like I would, like I feel like there's a couple people I can tell that I'm gonna lose a memory and it might be about you, so just know that. But but it's so like like how many memories are tucked in your fucking head? You know, like yeah. thousands yeah. and th- tens of thousands, maybe even like I remember, like when you really think about something when you're in a, a place or a time, you know, like when I'm back home or when we're, and you remember something you hadn't even thought about, like the, it goes so far back and sure. there's just so much shit in your head. So mathematically, you're probably fine. Yeah. But it's just so risky because you can forget something so important that – and, like, what do you have if not your own mind and your own memories? What do you have? I mean, it's like one of those things if you had, like, one of those 8MB PlayStation 2 memory cards mm. and you had a lot of save this. files. And you had to play that. the Russian roulette of one of those save files is going to get deleted for you to be able to save your new game. Yeah. Fuck that. I would not run that risk. That's no, I, w- I would do it. Oh, I see. What if you're it was saying. random, I would not play the oh. new game. So in this case, yeah, That's maybe really I wouldn't do good. it. That's a really it. good scenario for this. That's mm. deep. I like yeah. what you just did there. <laughs> I'm going to do that. The, the thing is, is that you could probably get away with using it literally hundreds of times without even knowing. Like, that's the other side of it. Is that, like, again, you have so much shit in your head, like, some fact you learned in physics in 12th grade that you don't care about. That's yeah. Well, no, like, I, you know, I was in Columbia last week with Christine. I'm walking around the city, and it's like, oh, man, this wasn't here when I was here. This was wing zone. You know what I mean? Like, there was, you know, these... Of course I, you'd remember that. I, they, they, I was going to say, <laughs> was all the places zone. I was excited yeah. were wing restaurants. But that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, you walk by, and I, you know, that's the memory I lost. Big deal. Here's where I'm, I'm in question. So in this hypothetical, who is giving us this scenario? Is it some dude on the street? Is it Rumpelstiltskin? What's happened? Morgan Freeman. Oh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Because it, it, it's one of those things where, well, here's, there's a movie similar to this, I feel, if you remember, with Cameron Diaz, I believe, and the guy who was Perry White in Superman Returns. <laughs> Stick with me. Uh, it was where... If only Nick was here. Oh, the he, box the, thing? Yes, where he had a button. Oh, if they, I remember They that. hit a button, they got a million dollars, but someone, someone somewhere died. Someone just died. Yeah, I remember that movie. I Did remember you the, watch the trailer? Just the yeah, movie? the trailer was hilarious. I, I'm yeah. like, this is the dumbest motherfucking I movie. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> you and watched and it. I probably loved it because I love dumb movies. So you're the only person I know who's ever said they've... W- yeah. So what happened in the movie? Well, Who I died? I can't remember. Oh. That's the memory you lost. Are you reading my mind? <laughs> 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 well, let's take a step Things back here. Things just got weird. What type of memories would you even like? When what scenarios <clears throat> would you ever realistically 
want to read someone's mind. Like, ha- have you ever thought about this? Like, I wish I could read your mind right now. Because the only times I could ever think are when it's, there's a girl. And I'm like, yes, I say yeah. when you're you younger, like probably. Yeah. When you were younger. And yeah, when I was younger. Like, way younger. I haven't thought about that recently. Yeah. Because yeah. now yeah. you're just like, eh, fuck, I don't mm. care. Tim don't care. I don't care. I don't want to know what people are Yeah, that's exactly my thing, too. I'm not sure I want to know. If there's some yeah. sort of material fact that I can get from someone to advance right. my finances, to advance <laughs> yes. my play yeah. to become president of the United States. It's not going to happen. I would totally, I goes, would totally vote for you. Thank Just you. putting that out Everybody there. Everybody go buy your shirt, districtlines.com slash kind of funny. <laughs> Moriarty Miller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, that's the ticket. Mm-hmm. The that's party's the broken and we'll fix it. No, uh, the party's going down. I don't know. I just, yeah, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous game. This is a dangerous game we're talking about. A very dangerous game. A game fraught with fucking mystery and, and intrigue, Greg. And I don't know. It's about, Clue? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are we playing Clue? Miss Scarlet and Colonel Mustard. Here's a real question for all of you. When, when uh, You guys did a hypothetical last week. I wasn't yeah. here, but I, I heard all about it. When you talk about these hypothetical situations, do you ever worry you're calling down a bad mojo on yourself and it's going to happen? No. No? no, sometimes I, I was just it. thinking right now. Though, Tales from the Crypt stuff, What if I stuff. did the teleporting yeah. thing and gained a bunch of pounds, but then did this, and the memory I forgot is that I gained pounds? That'd be really bad. <laughs> yeah, but you'd still you'd have still gained, gained the, the pounds, weight, though. Yeah, I know. But you just you wouldn't know. You wouldn't remember. You, exactly. Like, oh, you'd be a broken well. man. Man, that's fucked God. up. You would break yourself. Yeah. You'd stop drinking. I gotta be careful with these hypotheticals. You'd stop drinking these Mexicokes because you'd be like, well, I don't want to. That's, that's clearly what's. That's clearly what's making me big. Right. And then, but then you'd be like, well, I gotta teleport to work. Boop boop. And you'd be booping around. And you'd be like, damn it. Around. <laughs> oh, also, shout out to everyone on Twitter that recommended Teletubbies as the nickname for people to teleport and gain weight. Because that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. What are, so it's what's scary. the nickname for this one? People who can read minds but lose. I don't know. You tell us out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys are weird. That way kind of funny bits. How about the mem losers? You can do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. smarter than this. Yeah. It's something about Nick Seat that brings out the worst. <laughs> Here's the thing about this all around, though, if you'll stick with me. the, ter- the We're talking about this power. Mm. This reminds me a lot of Alzheimer's, which is the pro- is mm. the same thing without the upside of being able to read anybody's right. mind. Right, right. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the... And, and I, that is a terrifying... I know. It was well, just because of my description, obviously. What a terrifying disease this is, though. Yeah, it is, dude. My, my grandma had it, and it, it was so fucked up like yeah it, it, like she walked the earth for years having no idea who anyone was you right. know like it was insane yeah and scary and that really is a devastating disease like i really yeah. hope that they get to the bottom of that you know that, like, that'd be nice for them to solve yeah it's so bizarre i want it's just degenerative though I, I wonder if there really is even you could probably stymie it but i wonder if there really is a way to cure it. anything right i mean like the, the problem is that what's so scary about it is how it can turn on a dime you find yeah. one second like, the one i always talk about is uh when i was a reporter in college, working for the Missourian, I covered uh, this guy Earl Kaysen, who was army vet. Told, or he was a vet, he was a veteran. I'm not, I'm not gonna say he was an army because people get offended when yeah, you say a marine or whatever. exactly when you're in the wrong uh, branch of the military. Oh, I didn't um, know that. Yeah. Okay. Another sidetrack now. Sorry. <laughs> I once wrote a story where I was uh, talking about this guy trying to get. Uh, he had come back from Iraq. He had been shot by a sniper. Uh, I, I was with his mother, you know, when they thought it was all over, yada, yada, yada. And then, like, they had, like, this giant prayer vigil. And then they got the word that he was going to he was gonna live. And he was come, and he came back. And I covered his whole rehab when I was working at the Tribune. Amazing story. First time I'm ever writing the story, though, I write, I'm writing and I'm using soldier over and over again. So I started jumping. Or, or I was using marine over and over again. And so I started using synonyms I thought were synonyms. And I used soldier. And so I write this, like, amazing story about how this guy's amazing <laughs> life that he was shot in the head by a sniper and it was a, you know a thin piece of paper is what separated him from life or death in terms of like what this artery could have nicked or whatever yada 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 and he's gonna make it and it's his he's, you know he's coming back to Columbia and we get I get an email and it's this guy who's just like marines are marines and soldiers are in the army I guess this is what oh. happens when somebody writes about something they have no idea. Shit. And I was like, damn, dude, sorry I was trying to tell you. It is very yeah. offensive to those guys. I, right? And I understand that, but it was an innocent mistake. No, no, of course. No. I'm surprised your editor didn't catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have yeah. to edit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fuck that guy. Uh, Columbia Tribune. <laughs> <laughs> Earl Kaysen, however, uh, dealing with, he was he had the early stages here of Alzheimer's. He's going, he's getting checked out. He's doing all, everything he's supposed to be doing. He goes in to get checked out at the University of Missouri Hospital, walks out, walks past his car, walks into oblivion in the middle of the day. 
just disappears. Mm. And every like I f- did the story about it immediately happening, followed up with his uh, family. They're putting up you know posters. They're trying to find out what happened to Earl and all these different things. And I ended my semester working at the Missouri, and I was like, man, I, this is one day I want to know really what the story was here or whatever. And then like a year later. I'm going into Wild Wings, <laughs> and I'm walking in on one of the TVs they had the news on, and sure enough, there was a picture of Earl, and I stopped and like re- read the closed captioning, and like, hey, hey, turn that down, hey, turn, that, turn off your damn sports yeah. and rock and roll, we're yeah. talking about Earl over here, and yeah, he, they found his body. Oh, he, he, that's he, not the outcome I was Nine months, for. whatever it was, well, there's never a happy ending to these, are there? No, it's like I guess he just, not. He turned up on somebody's farm, he's been, he's been a hand there. He's actually for... been quite happy. And... <laughs> yeah, man, that's a fucked up disease, dude. Damn. Like, I, my, my grandma was fine until my, my grandfather died of colon cancer and in like 96 or whatever and like nine like literally two months later my grandma was done like yeah. like it was like she was totally fine and then she was totally done and then really? she just lived for another like eight years and eight we had like years. yeah we had like ca- caretakers with her and stuff we she lived in our house and we, t- yeah. we, we took care of her but it was just very very weird well that was the thing is like the way they they thought they justified you know figured the only way they can rationalize what happened is that Earl left and somewhere between seeing his doctor going down the elevator and coming out his mind reset that he lived in this small Missouri town like 20 miles down the highway and he hitchhiked out on the road forgetting he had a car there down to where his old house was got dropped off at like the top of the dirt road walked down probably walked there noticed it wasn't his house or whatever walked back and then like sat down in this creek and died like on the edge of this creek and they found oh him God. dead. They got cold, you know, at night or whatever and he just died out there. It's a crazy thing. And man. it's like, jeez Louise. Like, you know, and I did this whole other magazine story talking to the Mid-Missouri Alzheimer Association all this thing. It's just like, wow. Like, this is totally horrible. Can we stop this? This is terrifying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder, I gotta read more about that. About why it's so hard to stop. <clears throat> you know, like, yeah. what, like what they're doing to try to stop it. And Yeah, I'm gonna do that. At least on this, the upside is you get to read months. Yeah, in our situation. Mm-hmm. See, I think you know, this is what I'm talking about. If it's if it was the if it's Perry White from Superman Returns, he's the one giving you the thing. He's showing you. The, I have a feeling the fir- the memory you're gonna lose is gonna be a big one. Maybe not the first one. Maybe not the second one. Third one. They'll get progressively exactly. Harder and harder. You're, 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 you're abuse it. You forget how to walk. That's <laughs> oh, not, now that's a skill. Is that a memory? Does that count? That's it's a thing. motor no, skill. It's a motor yeah, memory, right? Yeah. But that's a memory. motor yeah, memory. I like that. Memory. That's, that's but right, like it's in your cerebral cortex, or whatever, like something so primitive. In our movie, it would be definitely a, it would be a memory. Okay, right. That's okay. where that's where all the primitive <laughs> stuff lives, right? The cerebral cortex. Am I wrong about that? Maybe. I think Cheryl caves. would know, but she's not going to be on the show. What? I think caves doesn't primitive stuff lives in caves. Primitive stuff lives in caves. Yes. Yeah. But like the, the oldest part of your brain is where all of this the like breathing and all of this random shit is like like the, the most primal things that you do oh. do la blancada something's wrong with his movie do la blancada maybe that's it now, he's just know. quoting it's, the water boy yeah. he doesn't really have anything <laughs> to contribute to this <laughs> that's <right>. movie <laughs> oh, God. Bobby Boucher <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a long time man. Yeah. I remember being really disappointed with that movie because that came I out after too, really kind of. like, I that came out after Billy Madison and all like the really great ones and, Happy Gilmore yeah. The Wedding Singer mm-hmm. how do you how do you you yeah, know awesome. I still go see any Adam Sandler movie oh he's the best no, now let me tell you a story maybe I don't go to the theater maybe I don't I want to know the last Adam Sandler movie did you see Blend no, I've not seen that one You're yet. You're such a fucking liar, Melissa. Okay, so the last one I saw was the one where... What, you got a written down on notes? <laughs> Actually. Let me consult my yeah, notes. That was going to be my next topic. Did you see um, That's My Boy? That's the one yeah. with the, uh, Andy Samberg. Yeah, th- I thought it was... Uh, it looks funny. so good. Yeah. Like, Greg, so, Here we go. So, <laughs> Here we go. Time to throw Greg under the bus. Go ahead. Greg had his For friends the record, over. I had cancer. Greg, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Greg, well, Greg had his, mind, Greg had his friends over from Missouri, and uh, we were looking at movies on like PlayStation, like what we should rent, or whatever. And I wanted to rent That's My Boy because that 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 particular scene with the back, the the, uh, the new kids on the block the tattoo, tattoo is so fucking the funny. And Greg didn't want to watch it. He ended up watching like Rock of Ages. There or was a vote. <laughs> There was a vote in the room. Rock of Ages won out because it looked like a dynamite. I was like, "Fuck time. this shit!" No, 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 no. You did. You left. A you left the room. Dynamite musical time. You did leave the room, much like the time we did the Nashville live stream, and you're like, "I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch this anymore," and left. <laughs> uh, that show's fucking whacked out. No, in the best way possible. Yeah, it's not, it's not necessarily the bad way. I love how you walk in and every time there's a male singer on, you go, oh, gun for the mouth guy. Yeah. And it's not him. It's not even him. I still listen to that song like three times. Oh, yeah. It's a great great, song. That's a great song. Yeah. Colin. Yes. What's your topic? This is a serious topic, Greg. I want to go from like. 
Well, we went from Go Alzheimer's from, there. We know. Know. We're going down the fucking <laughs> rabbit hole here. I want to use my brief time on the show this week to talk about what happened to me last week and to encourage people to take good care of themselves in a very specific way. Now, Greg, you know me well enough to know, uh, you know me better than almost anyone, actually, and you know that I have a notoriously terrible stomach and a terrible gut. And I've had it, like, my whole life. Just right. It's awful. Just fucking awful. And uh, I've been dealing with this since I was a, a wee lad, and no one's ever really found out what was wrong with me. I used to do, I, you know, I used to go to BU Medical Center and all this sort of, sort of stuff, and they used to, like, do tests on me. Oh, you have IBS and all this kind of stuff. And I get, like... bowel syndrome. Exactly. Gross. And I get... No, no, I don't have Crohn's, thank God. Because Crohn's, <laughs> that'd be a, that's really bad. Um, but uh, I get, like, these recurring pains that just get worse and worse and worse. Hmm. And... By the time I got into college, I used to, I get crippling pains where like I'd be in like the fetal position on the bathroom floor, like Jesus. like in like really bad shape. And my girlfriend at the time in college found me on the floor at that like I was like, you gotta, what "The fuck's wrong with you? You got go drugs or something?" Yeah, she probably did. Um, and uh, so like this started this whole train of like, "Well, what's wrong with me? Nothing. You have IBS, or you have you know you have uh, colitis, or you have you know like whatever." And then. Last year, I got an endoscopy because they diagnosed me, as you remember, on, with blood tests with celiac disease. And I'm like, oh, you have celiac mm. disease. This is the famous diagnosis. Right. We're going to E3. Mm -hmm. And you did a bunch of tests. You were try waiting for the results. As we're on the plane, you get the notification that you had a message. So we, we literally are starting to taxi. And like they, it's we're long past the please turn off your cell phones, you know, right, right. blah, 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 the doors closed thing. And you leaned over to, it buried your head into my body. Like this, to listen to the voicemail. Lady came by and was like, Sir, you cannot be on your phone. You're like, I'm getting test results. I'm getting test results. <laughs> then you tried to call while we were taking oh, off. And they came yeah. back and they're like, Sir, we will have to contact. Oh, my like, I'm, God. I'm getting test results. <laughs> oh, wow. And so we're in the war room and you finally got the test yeah. results and you cried. I started crying, yeah. yeah. For, I, for Celia. Yeah. Congress, I, I love beer. Yeah, I love beer and yes. I, I'm also half Italian. So I grew up in a yeah. New York Italian family eating eating pasta and all right. you know, bread and all and I was like this is devastating I went literally a year and a half before they were like you really should get an endoscopy because the blood test is just indicative that you have it. and even though it's right. almost certainly right anyway it's such and so on I got the endoscopy they're like oh no you don't have celiac disease so I was like oh great Thanks. so not only do I not know what the fuck's wrong with me again but I wasn't eating gluten and uh, and they're like oh you have a bunch of ulcers I'm like okay cool so then I, well, I was back on Long Island at home right before Comic Con in New York and I got the worst stomach pain of my entire life. And I'm going to be very vivid with everyone out there because I want you to really understand what was going on. I want you to be able to take care of yourself. I was like shitting blood and like it was like really bad. I was like, oh my God, like I have cancer, you know, or like something's like really fucking Had wrong. you ever pooped blood before? Yeah, but not like this, <laughs> not like this. And this the, is like that the Freddy Krueger scene when the bed opens up. Yeah, yeah. Johnny exactly. Depp ends up. <laughs> <laughs> he was so cute. Uh, oh well. So I got kill the pretty one. <laughs> so the, the 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 blood was and the pain was like fucking horrifying, like horrifying, horrifying pain. As you know, like it caused me to come to Comic Con late, mm -hmm. and um, and yeah. uh. I was just like bedridden at home for like three days. It was like really weird. In really my old, home in, my, in my old bedroom. Yeah, you're and, home at least. Yeah, That's yeah, exactly. And, my, and I was like sending pictures of my poop to my dad and stuff like that. I was like, really, <laughs> I was like is this all right? Classic column. Um, but anyway, I, I like I, I started to feel better and blah blah blah. But then I got you know a colonoscopy, um, and this is a weird thing for a young man to get. And and the reason I want to tell everyone this, and it'll be a very brief kind of topic, is. The, the the feedback I got from a lot of the doctors and nurses, all very nice people, they're really really nice people, very you know professional, but all, every one of them was like, "You're really young, you know, like you're really young for this. Why are you so why like what's wrong? Like you're like oh you're so young and you should wait. They were like, telling you like, yeah. what's wrong when you're like, like I'm there because I'm shitting yeah, but they're blood. like well, uh, so like what happened? Oh, you're and, so young. This yeah, exactly like, that kind of thing. And 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 what I wanted so I wanted to encourage everyone is like. That kind of bothered me because I was like, something's wrong with me. And, they, and they're obviously like looking into it and, and, and I'm getting my test results and stuff. And they think, you know, hopefully everything's okay. But I want to encourage everyone to like really ignore that shit. Mm. No pun intended. If uh, So don't, don't ignore no, the don't shit. No, don't ignore the don't shit. Ignore yeah. the but shit. ignore that shit. Mm. If, so, if something's wrong with you, like really follow up on it because like it was very, it felt discouraging in a way. You know, to be you like, were already there, right? I was. Well, even when I was like, seeing the, the, the general practitioner and their stuff, and they're like, well, we don't think anything's wrong with you because you're, you're young. You know? like but, embarrassing, but, too. But, 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 but you know, do, the, stool, do the stool samples and do all those kinds of things, and then we'll schedule a colonoscopy, right? So I just wanted to encourage everyone, like, really follow, because, like, getting endoscopies and colonoscopies is, like, very invasive. 
And like, and it hurt. Like, it, it's it's painful. I like woke up during the colonoscopy. Oh, See, you know, you God. say this. Are you sure you did? Yeah. So I, you I'm pretty la- positive. I mean, I was pretty fucked up. But See, like, and that, stick with me. I remember watching a video from the last time you had a surgery. Where you're all fucked up, oh, yeah. talking to Cheryl, yelling stuff. Like, yeah. are you sure you didn't just hallucinate this? One? Well, I'm gonna find Hold out on. when they go. Up. Do we? Do we have this video? Cheryl yeah, I'm sure Cheryl right? has it. Yeah, he sent it. I used to a long time let's, ago. Yeah, yeah. Let's try to find that. Okay. Yeah, I was like totally. I, when I got my endoscopy, I was fucking wrecked. Like for like a day, I was like totally messed up. If we this have time, it, I was less wrecked. it right now. And if we don't, we didn't insert it right there. Wait, when when was that? Uh, like a year ago. Can you can you be more specific? No, like literally almost a year ago. Like the new searching on Apple phones for the photos very helpful. Like I'm able to just track things down. Is it new? To me, it is. So it's new to me. I was like, (laughs) I was four. (laughs) Shut up. Ah. But but that's it. It's just a very brief and simple thing to like really listen to your body and take care of yourselves. uh, Because I probably should have done this stuff a lot sooner. And conventional wisdom says that you don't get colonoscopies until you're fifty or so. So like. You know, and they found a polyp and they cut it out and hopefully everything's good and they took some samples and stuff like that. But, you know, I just want to encourage people. Someone someone wrote on my Facebook something really profound because I took a picture of myself in a gown. My a gown, I just like posted it as a joke and be like, you know, I got a colonoscopy. You should do it too if you are having stomach pains. Like, don't, you know, take care of that. And someone was like, even if you can get one person to listen to you, you did a good thing. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there, that energy out there that, you know, what resonated most with me with that visit was like, wow, you're so young and this is so unusual. Well, maybe it isn't. And maybe you should, mm-hmm. maybe you should do these kinds of things if you really feel like you need to even if like everyone's conventional wisdom says that there's nothing wrong with you you know because yeah. there's obviously something wrong with me uh the other thing and i just to, for a little more you know for, to, to to lighten the mood a little bit is uh the process of getting the colonoscopy beforehand oh, is the, the drinking horrific. of the the yeah the cocktail the call fluid like concoction are you are you aware of this <laughs> i'm not i wouldn't have been aware like, of this if colin didn't send me a photo well, I'm is in on like vacation a, in Missouri. I have all these different X lax laxatives. Like two, what? How many gallons? It's like, well. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. They this. It's like so excessive. I was like telling the nurse, I'm like, this is so unnecessary. Like, they're like, go to the store, buy um, magnesium nitrate, which is in itself just a complete <clears throat> laxative. They're like, go buy Ducalax, which is a pill. Their pills, and go buy Miralax. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, go buy two things of Gatorade, 32 ounce Gatorade. Oh, this is yeah. the doctor telling you to yeah. drink Gatorade, by the way. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a health nut. And Gatorade is the shittiest thing you can drink. I'm done. I'm from Berkeley. I'm done. <laughs> no, they, I think they, I'm just saying, doctor, is go drink Gatorade. Well, yeah, they, I think it's got electrolytes. Yeah, I think, I think that's <laughs> yeah. why they want it. It's got electrolytes. It'll, it's definitely electrolytes. Well, I think they want that because it, it's like, it's got to hydrate you because you can't yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I didn't eat What would you have them drink, you health Coconut nut? Coconut water, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Does that have electrolytes? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Sorry, I just get angry. Does it have gum? Gum? Does it have chewies and gummies? No. <laughs> so, did Michael Not Jordan yet. drink it? Anyways. <laughs> the swamp. So, you so, know, it's named Gatorade because it helped the Florida Gator. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you, commercials for Gatorade. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you guys how excessive this was. At four, All right, so my, my thing was at 9 o'clock in the morning the next day. I hadn't sure. eaten since 8 o'clock the day before. You can't eat. In the morning or night? At night. Okay. I didn't end up eating for 45 hours. So, Jesus. Wait, so, what? so from eight o'clock? p.m. on Wednesday, I didn't eat until like five o'clock. Well, they have on to have Friday. it like completely. I mean, you gotta be yeah, yeah you gotta be like empty. you gotta be clean. And so, and also, I passed out when I got home. So like, there was another eight hours time. Uh, um, so they were like at four o'clock, take two Docalax pills. You're only supposed to take one, and that will clear you out. So they're like, take two of them, and then at five o'clock, take half the Miralax, which is eight servings of it. So you can, you can, there's like 16 in the bottle that will clear you out 16 times. Take eight of them, put them in the Gatorade and drink it within one hour. And 30 minutes after that, it was fucking game over for me. But that was only, (laughs) but that was only half of it. Because then they were like at three in the morning, get up, drink the other half, (sighs) the other eight, and then drink the entire bottle of magnesium nitrate. (laughs) When I tell you I shit 30 times... In 12 hours, it's no joke. And when I tell you 25 of them was nothing but Gatorade, that that also is not a joke. There's your fucking and, coconut water. Yeah. <laughs> and I told it's them, I'm like, color. I, I went in and then the nurse was very friendly, very friendly to me and my girlfriend. And I'm like, it's a little excessive, is this isn't it? It's really necessary. Like, I've been on the goddamn toilet bowl all day and all night. I was done after the first Miralax <laughs> dosage. Why do I have to keep doing this over and over again? 
So that was much worse than the fire in the sky moment I experienced when I woke up so during So tell the... me what that actually is. Like, All right, so I only think... remember it. So here's the thing I didn't know, and I don't know if you guys know this. I didn't know this. And 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 our friend Dan, who we work with, a reviews editor, his Stay his his uh, wife's a doctor, an anesthesiologist, and he was like, "No, this is true. One of the one of the drugs they give you, they give you drugs to ease the pain, to knock you out, and to give you amnesia. Did you did you know that? No. So that if something happens, you don't remember. And so like it, like that's why you're so fuzzy. Why is my bra on backwards? I so, don't know. So like Sorry, I, I have a memory. Dirty. Like they tell you to get no, on your good, side. I assumed that I was gonna be on my stomach. <laughs> Yeah. But it's, you get on your side, yeah. and you're facing away from them. And you're facing like a monitor, and I pass out. I remember, the last thing I remember the doctor saying to me, the first, when I got the endoscopy, the, doc, the last thing the doctor said to me before I fell asleep was like, the oxygen's going in my, in my, my nose, and they, they, they start the drugs, and you're like fucking out like really quick. And I'm yeah. like, I hope you don't find anything. He's like, don't count on it. That was what I, I remember him saying. The second time was, that I had a female doctor this time, and, I was, and she said something to me, I'm like, yes, ma'am. And the doctor's like, don't call her ma'am, call her Dr. Ross. And then I was out like that. <laughs> I was like, all right. Uh, but then I wait. I remember waking up and freaking the fuck out, and like someone holding me down. No, this didn't and something, happen. And, and something I in my a- and something in my ass. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> like, well, like I, I felt mean, something. I felt something. I felt something in. Like I'm not even kidding. Like something in my ass and in me, and like they held. Like someone like got on top of me, like to make sure I didn't move. I and know. they probably like eat, like up the dosage like really quickly. I like, get knocked knocked back out. I know and, people who've woken up mid like wisdom teeth surgery because it's twilight. It's a twilight sleep, whatever. Yeah, you know, and they're like ah, they're in, you know. Yeah, so like, and I was, <laughs> and I was just back out, and the last thing, I, and I don't remember anything else until like I was in a wheelchair. That's horrible. She's on top of you, and I'm Doctor Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Call me, ma'am, one more time. But she was, she was, super, she was super friendly, and they were very professional. So uh, wait, you come out of it, and you're talking, they're getting the, the check down or whatever at the end. You don't, this doesn't come up. No, because the doctor didn't even come out to see me. A nurse came and said, like, here's your results. The doctor will call you next week. The, the first time when I had the endoscopy, the doctor came out to talk to me, and then midway through, he was like, you have no idea what I'm saying, yeah. so I'll just talk to you next week. Because I was like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. that was when I was, when I got my endoscopy, the famous, the story Cheryl always tells is that, you know, they have the little heart monitor on your finger, and I kept taking it off to flatline, because I, <laughs> I thought it was funny. And, she's, and she told me this time, I was like, going, like, I was like in slow motion, going like... <laughs> and she like, like, would hit, like hit my hand away. Did you guys see the video... Probably not. But last week, um, somebody did some surgery, some girl, and her some, friend. Some girl did a surgery. Some girl did a surgery. I don't know the details on it. So the Doesn't kids matter. On YouTube these days. Her friend taped it, and it was so funny because the girl's like super upset. And she's like, What's wrong? Are you okay? And she's like, I'm not Nicki Minaj. Oh, yeah. Cheryl told me about that. I wake up and be Nicki this. Minaj. And it's so funny. Right. That's you awesome. Drugs. Watch that. Has yeah. Nicki Minaj God, reached awesome. out yet? Not that I know of. Which is upsetting because yeah. she should. She really should. She was just so. She's like, "Do you think Nicki Minaj is pretty?" She's like, "Yeah, <laughs> I'm not that pretty." <laughs> oh my god, it's a brain. It yeah. It's an That's interesting thing. thing. Mm-hmm. The drugs are insane, though. So, so oh just so what? The drugs are insane. After all of that. So after all that, so uh, I'm getting my results back, but I just you know the the doctors. The one thing I because I have Kaiser, and the the they're really good. Like I like them a lot, and like they've always been really nice. And thrive, they, at, thrive, exactly. That's what they're saying. <laughs> They've always been very professional, very nice, um, very helpful, whatever. But it was just that one thing where I was like, you know, I'm already here and I'm, I'm in the process. But what if they're saying this, like, or what if people are getting this message that it's just they're a little young, you know, it, oh. it's unusual. To me, it just it stuck out as like, I want to encourage people to really kind of take care of this earlier because so many people have, like me, I'm a ball of stress. Like I was saying earlier, I'm just fucking stressed out all the time for no reason. And uh, it really does take a toll on you. Right. And it, I think that's why my stomach's so fucked up. When I played hockey, I played hockey for all those years. I would throw up before games all the time. Like, I was just, like, such a, like, a mm, mess. Nervous. You know, like, and you feel it in your gut. That's where a lot of your nerves are. Like, you, you know, so, like, it's 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 just something I wanted to encourage people to, you know, look into. Well, you're having stomach problems or whatever, like, and, and you're young and you want to, you know, keep going. And in just, general, look into any problem you have yeah. that pops up. Well, right? it, but that's such an old person problem, right? Like, like well, sure, but I mean, like, like, get your colonoscopy when you're 50 every five years right. or whatever, but it's like, I'm 30. Right. And I've had these problems my whole life. So it's just, it's just one of those I caught things. cancer at a weird time. You know what yeah. I mean? Usually ki- it's either you're like leukemia and you're a kid right. or you're like getting older and it's this something else, right? And I caught it right at around 28, right? 27, somewhere in there. And it was, was one of those things of like, yeah, wait, it's, it's been a while, which is weird. Yeah. But yeah, you know, like I remember when my lymph nodes sw- 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 
Swelled. swelled up the first swelled. time, right? And you, and I was like, oh, well, that happens all the time. And then when it didn't go away, I was like, I should keep an eye on that, and I forget about it. I remember it. that. And then it would pop up. And then when this it was your friend, up, it was your friend that told you that you should go to the doctor, wasn't it? Like your doctor? Friend. No, it was by that point I knew. Well, this is when I went back to Chicago for Poe's wedding, and I, me and Christine, it was Christine's first time in Chicago, and I was watch walking her down at a fancy purse shop that I always get wrong, so I won't say which one because I'll screw it up because <laughs> I usually say the wrong one. She's like, that's a cheap purse shop. You're making me sound weird. I'm like, all right. Uh, we were walking. <laughs> Around, Marshalls. And we were in there, and she was like, I'm going to go look at that person. I'm like, cool, I'm going to sit down real quick. She's like, okay. You know, She went away, and I sat down, and I Googled heart attack symptoms because uh, the walls were yeah, pulsating yeah, 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 in, yeah. and I was like, something's very wrong. Right. And, and, and then the internet was like, that's not a heart attack. And I was like, well, I'm not going to call an ambulance to downtown Chicago then. But Most, didn't, your, didn't your friend feel your neck? Well, that what happened, that was like, this is like, I had the, sw- the swollen lift nodes, and then I had a lump over my collarbone. And I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's that was not, really weird. Yeah, Obviously, I knew something was wrong, and so like that, the walls pulsating was like, all right, I need to actually act on this. And so at the wedding, I talked to my doctor friend Noonan, Doctor Noonan, about it, and he was like, oh, he's drunk too, and he's like, I'll check you, and he he's doing the note, and he's doing the whole thing. Mm, yeah, that's out of, out of the ordinary. Did this, blah blah. And then one of Poe's friends, like. A girlfriend who I knew, knew as well, obviously, just walked by and she's like, "Oh, if your lymph nodes are swollen up, it's probably just Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's the one you want." And walked away. That's the one you. And then I went. That's in. Yeah, that's what it was when I went oh, in. Interesting. There. But yeah, but I went into that doctor's appointment thinking, not trying not to overthink it, right? Because you know, I think throughout my life, when stupid things happen, you're always like, "Well, I'm, this is it. Yeah, this is something it. bad. This is as bad." And then you get there, and yeah. the doctor's like, "No, that's totally normal. You've wasted time. You're like, I'm out 150 bucks." Damn it. Right, right. And so when I went in to see that doctor, I remember I went in for something totally, I guess I actually don't remember. I went in for something mundane and that. And I was leading with the mundane thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, and these are swollen up. These are he's like, okay. And he's like, the other thing is no big deal. And then he when it felt my neck. He's like, hmm. And then he felt my thing. He went, hmm. And he went over and got a ruler and came back. Then he jotted something down, left the room, came back in. He's like, I, you, this is troublesome. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, his nurse came back in and handed me a post-it note like this. And said, "You have a you have it was, you have a cat scan or a pet scan. You have a pet scan today at wow. four. And I was like, oh, "We're moving that quick. That's two hours from now. Like I have to call work. They're like just go. You do not have to call work. You need yeah, to go." Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Oh, uh oh." <laughs> and then everything was so expedited from there. And like yeah, when man. I when I got the scan, I guess it was a cat scan. I got the the scan or whatever. And uh, I'm in the tube, and they bring me in, and they only you know brought me down uh, into about here or whatever. And then I was in there for a while, and they pulled me back out, and they came over to the intercom, and he's like, uh, "Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna do phase two pretty soon here. Phase two pretty soon." I'm like, "Okay." And then I was like, "I don't." They never said there was a phase two of this, and I laid there for like another ten minutes, and they came back on, and he's like, "Sorry, uh, we're just trying to get uh, approval from the doctor on call, but he's not answering his phone, and your doctor's not answering his phone either. So just hold tight, no big deal." And they came back like another ten minutes later, I'm like, "All right, well, the stuff we gave you, the you know the sh- radioactive stuff to make it you visible." That's about to wear off. We wouldn't want to give you another doses, so we're just gonna take you off. I'm like, okay. And I left, and I called my friend. I'm like, this just happened. I'm like, I call him. Like, and I honestly, because I get it must have been a cat scan because I get pet scans are a huge deal. Anyways, when I got the scan, I cat scan called the guy, and I'm like, on the way, I'm like, hey, like. When you get a CAT scan, can they see preview images back there? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. And sure enough, right. when you read my charts, it was like the scan showed that I had growth clearly so below like where it was. Ah. And they were like, we want to go lower and see how bad it was. Yeah, but they couldn't yeah, do it yeah. in time. And then everything turned out to be what it was. Yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember that, man. I remember mm-hmm. that was mm-hmm. a very emotional a very emotional I know. night. Mm-hmm. It became, not for you, you know, I don't want to say it was, it was easy. Obviously, it was a very hard thing. But it became... When you knew that you were okay, even though you still had it and you were in the very beginning, whatever, yeah. you were like, I'm going to be fine. You were much stronger than everyone else was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think I cried. <laughs> well, mine were, mine were all, my stuff was all staggered, right? Like, I had time that I knew something was wrong and I knew it wasn't good and I knew this was happening. Like, I had time to come to terms with everything. Whereas everybody else, it was a light switch, right? Where I, like, that night I had to sit up there at the kitchen table and call everybody. Mm. Call mom, call dad, call Poe, call, you know what I mean? Call all down this list of friends who I, in like, who immediately knows something's wrong because I hate talking on the phone. Yeah, so to get yeah, a phone yeah. call from me, everybody's like, are you... Like, I think every, everybody's first guest was like, you're marrying Christine? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Dial it to something else. Why else would I call? Like, you have a disease? I'm like, yes. Cancer. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was like that with awkward silence for most of the time. The, 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 one of the... Uh, it's it's funny now in retrospect, but the one of the funny things I was thinking about about that time was uh, the conversation with Colin when we were talking about... Um, 
What we weren't talking about, we were talking about when I went, we went to the Jets game, but you couldn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, was it like, was the was, opening for yeah, it, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, was like, I was like, you missed a hell of a game, and you're like, well. <laughs> no, no, it was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we went... Uh, God, what... Yeah, that was a great opening for that episode, but yeah, yeah. I don't all screwed up, too, but it was something along the lines of, like, yeah. Well, yeah, that's when you got sick with cancer, and you had to miss that Jets game. And it was a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to I wanted to just relay that 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 because it's it's funny you can laugh at me and laugh at like my misfortune of maybe having a fire in the sky alien type moment. And I I'm want you to then, ask. The I'm gonna I'm gonna totally I'm, go, I'm gonna you. I'm gonna ask her. And I, I bet she'll you. say no. Reg- I hope so. <laughs> across the table, not even the problem is maybe it did really happen. They're denying that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't did know. You, what you're did someone jump on me and I felt like I had something <laughs> in my ass? Uh, nah. No, Mr. Moriarty. And I'm Dr. Ross. Yeah, like, that's what I remember. It's just someone, like, not, like, jumping over me, like, hovering over me, but, like, someone just, like, like, and, like, Maybe some you probably movement. started, like, were you yeah. screaming yeah. around. I think so. Yeah. Uh, and they were like, ah. That's what I remember. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, the, the, I just wanted to throw that out there because so, it's. I like the the story of the lead up to the colonoscopy because it was just so fucking unnecessary. Yeah. That's uh, a- but also, uh, yeah, just to encourage people to kind of take care of themselves, listen to their bodies, listen and, to you. Uh, <laughs> even if things are unusual, you might seem a little young, or a little, maybe a little weird illness kind of thing. You know, it was, it was very helpful for me to kind of get the endoscopy, get the colonoscopy, and and kind of tick those things off. Of course, I still have no idea what the hell is wrong with me. Uh, but, but you will now, hopefully. With yeah, the hopefully, tests. hopefully I will. But yeah, just just kind of use that as an instructive kind of thing to you know, you know, don't ignore these things. I ignored my shit for a long time. Again, no pun intended. If it comes back with they still don't know what's wrong with you, Lyme disease. Lyme disease. Nobody ever knows. It's kind of true, actually. Yeah. If I didn't catch it when I was back home on Long Island, which is like you probably did. It, then yeah, you don't know, and it it's it's like it can sit dormant. For like years, can it? it's, it's yeah, kind of weird that way. Yeah, in Connecticut, and Connecticut, Long like, Island, everybody's like, I don't know what to do. Borrelia bacteria, or whatever the hell it is, bad stuff. Would you write a story about that? I did. <laughs> I ever tell you that story? Missouri. Yeah, uh, exactly. Maybe, Lots maybe. of ticks in Missouri. It was this long thing of like the CDC in Missouri technically didn't recognize Lyme disease because like uh, it, there's a special strand of um, this is I'm stretching here for things I did a long time ago. A special strand of bacteria in it or whatever and they had never found that specific one so they couldn't say they had it but they had found like 17 different variants that were just like slightly off of it so clearly it was there but they couldn't scientifically do it so i did this article about all these people who were coping with it and dealing with it in missouri and yada yada yada. i work on this thing for like six months the longest piece i ever did at the trib and uh i'm driving home from one of my appointments with it or whatever and i sit down at my desk to write up some notes or whatever and i shit you not i feel something on my arm and i look over and there's a tick crawling on my arm I'm like what the fuck yeah. they knew i was about to blow them up yeah. <laughs> they sent their, their agents out to get Sin me out. motherfucking ticks don't trust them for a second not ever nope my topic my topic comes from a number of things okay god damn it kevin hey craig yeah I've got a special message from Dustin Ward. Greg prefers streaming at 144p. Thank you. Of course, that is the insult. Kevin insults Greg. It's one of our Patreon perks. We forgot to do it in the beginning of the show. Kevin texted me about it. My topic. I have a bone to pick with the female orgasm. <laughs> you can't say that. And I know that's a little weird have, thing I to have, say. I have plenty of things to go. It's not. It's not going the same. It's not going. It's. I know. <laughs> this sounds like a Tim topic. <laughs> it's not though. It's a Greg Miller topic of wanting to be a better lover and a better person. <laughs> all right. Uh, this all comes from a YouTube video that I'm sure we're. This linking definitely to. Oh sounds boy, like a Tim oh topic. Boy. We're linking to right now. Have you heard of the Netherlands pop band Adam? No. no, not yet. You, sh- you, pr- you might have. I ran into their video. It has 14 million views at the moment on That's YouTube. A lot of views. What it is, they are an all-female band. They put up their latest single, and I'm, I can't get a date on this right now, so I'm sorry if it's. They've probably put out no other singles since then, but they put up their latest single, "Go to Go," uh, and what they did for the the music video they put up is, it is all three of the women singing the song like just sitting there or trying to sing the song while they're brought to orgasm by a vibrator now you don't see the vibrator i'll show you the photos there of the the screen caps of it there you know it's from their shot tastefully and it's actually happening from the the waist up (laughs) trying to sing the song they wrote Mm -hmm. while they won't they don't say how they're being brought to orgasm you imagine a vibrator some people claim they can hear a buzz or whatever exactly and so as i'm watching this video for the shock value of it, and it's not dirty at all. You can go see it. If you're at a public library right now, put it on, 
crank up the fucking speakers, man. <laughs> Let your flag fly for Adam, Netherlands pop duo, or trio. Um, the, what, what annoyed me about all this is I'm watching this. I became incredibly upset that I will never know what that feels like. Mm. I thought about that a lot. This is my problem, is, and this is what's so <laughs> shitty about having sex with someone. Uh, let me clarify that. So shitty about having sex with a member of the opposite sex is never really knowing what it feels like for that person. Well, then mm. I have a bone to pick with the male orgasm. Yes, I'm aware. No, no, that, okay. I, this, this is just my jumping off point okay. for the conversation. This is frustrating for me. And then, and then but and, see, I still, and this is, this is a clerk's argument. It's in clerks, actually. You know, they, Dante has this whole conversation about that there's no uh, uh, finesse needed to bring a, a man to climax, right? Mm. Just need a, a soft, pr- preferably moist place, place uh, some preferably motion. Preferably moist. Kevin Smith's a hell of a writer. Everybody tweeted him, <laughs> telling we love him. Um, is, and that's the thing, right? For a guy, I think, when we think about getting a hand job or being brought to climax, right, it's simple. For us, right? We've been doing it for years and years and years and years. It, it takes no, we just don't even think about it, right? Just make your hand like that and do that, and it's over. Fine, great. The female thing, it's Get a pain. It's, it, I don't, I don't know. It seems like, and then this, and the the, the 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 shimmies and the shakes these people are doing. I don't do that when I'm getting a hand job or having regular sex, I guess. When I'm about to climb, I like that all of this goes back to hand jobs. Well, I'm looking at you. We had the hand yeah, job conversation not too long ago. This frustrates me. Does it frustrate everybody else? And again, it's, it's it applies to you because obviously you don't know what a man Well, there's the like. whole thing that the female, I mean, it's dumb. The whole, like, the female orgasm is a myth or whatever, you know. It's just been this, like, mysterious thing. It's not, right? No. Okay. <laughs> you no. heard it here first. <laughs> Confirmation. Yeah. yeah. I just, um, I mean, I think as far as anatomy goes, men are a little, you know, maybe... It's a little easier to Figure wrap your head around in there. Yeah. Wrap your head around. <laughs> Maybe not as much effort. Of course, a woman, on the other hand, might have to do other things to please herself. This is getting, I feel like I'm like a really lame version of Dr. Ruth right now. I'm like this like Dr. Ruth that doesn't want to just come out and say, how to touch your vagina while having sex with a man. To which he, right. I'm just saying, I... I get your frustrations, though. Right. I mean, I've often thought, like, I wonder if they're the same. I wonder if it's. Right. I wonder that's if they the feel thing. the same. And that's the weird I thing. I guarantee they don't. Really? See, how guarantee. can you beat How can you Maybe beat they it? Do. Just, just because, it just like, the reaction seems different. Like, it, it seems, it just totally seems different. And, like, because I don't, I know, even for the male orgasm, they're pretty much the same thing, just different levels of intensity. Like, sure. Uh, the difference between a great orgasm and a pretty, like, Good orgasm because there's no bad orgasm. Um, <laughs> that orgasm sucks. Those are all. I mean, it's it's the same <laughs> thing. It's just more. You know sure. what I mean? Um, I, I've had. I would say I, I can count on one hand the the amazing orgasms. What? What do you mean? The amazing. Like, what there are, there are times mean? where like I felt the like my muscle in my leg like sure. shake and sure. like my eye like twitch out. <laughs> those and that only happened to, like a handful of times and like. That was on another level, but still, it was on another level of the same thing. Whereas I feel like I talk to a lot of my female friends yes. about this stuff a lot because I'm interested. Like these Tim topics on the show, yeah, imagine them if I don't need to care about vulgarity and all that stuff. Things get yeah, nasty. we really care about that here. Whatever on the Game Over Dougie <laughs> yeah. show, I try to be respectable in front of people, but when it's just me and my friends, I'm not respectable at all. Yeah, and um, or respectful. I'm, I'm, I'm respectable. I'm not respectable at all. But anyways, <laughs> and I feel like all of their descriptions of orgasms are different. And I've heard multiple people say that like they're, they can have 10 different types of orgasms and they all feel differently and all this stuff. And like I know people that have never had orgasms. So it's not that it's a myth, but there are people that haven't. And these are people that are sexually active, trying to... Women specifically? Yes. Well, yes, that's specifically unfortunately women. as well, I think... I think it's it's a little more tricky, and I think that girls are raised in a different way than boys. I mean, boys, it's very obvious. It's there. They're constantly growing up. If you see little kids, they're just constantly like, Rrr. and yeah. girls do that too, but I think that it's, it's more taboo for a girl to be taught about herself and mm-hmm. how to make sure she's going to be okay and so happy in I bed. Feel like that I think, yeah, I think yeah. that's changed. So a lot of women it's, have just been weird. I, I mean, I've had female friends who 
didn't know I'm how often, to, you know, yeah. achieve pleasure themselves, and then they start That's having crazy. sex with men, and then the guy's kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I just assumed it's every all my magic. And I've been, I've like, been really, this isn't working. I've been really surprised Sorry, because, like, I talked to, <laughs> I talked to our good friend Nick Scarpino a lot. The producer and, slash seducer, and he's often blown away by how open my female friends are when it comes to this type of stuff. Because yeah. he's like, dude, when I was growing up, like. Yeah. Girls didn't talk about this shit. Right. Girls, girls just didn't do that. And they always thought it was crazy and stuff. All my friends masturbate all the time. Constantly. I was trying to think of a good All word the time. Constantly. All the time. Just won't stop. <laughs> right now. No, I mean, now they're, they're talking to Nick. No, seriously. Like, oh, I got to rub one out. It's, just like, dude, it's like they're dudes. <laughs> like the idea of what dudes used to be sure. or whatever. Like sure. I don't think there's any difference anymore. Like, Interesting. I Like if you would ask me between my core group of friends, like who masturbates more, Vincent or... Whatever. Are these real names? You're protecting no, people? No, I'm just saying names. Or some girl's name. Sure. I, same shit. I think it's the same. Interesting. That's fascinating. Because I don't feel like it was like that when we were growing up, Colin. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that the they're, you know, for heterosexual couples, like you were saying, I think there's a mystique for the man with the woman because, again, the orgasm is is undefined. And I think that that's, there's something about that that's very interesting because... There's two things about it that's interesting. Mm-hmm. One is, you know, as you grow older and, and you, you know, you're, you, you're in different relationships and stuff, you experience, I think, the way that different girls get off, which is interesting in of itself, I think, in my opinion, you know? And also, like, the different levels, like you're saying, of, like, it seems like there's a huge, like, there's a huge level in pleasure that you can, that, that builds up for some women that, that isn't there for the man. I think the man is like a, as a one trick pony. I think the woman's body is much more refined. I think it's nuanced. It's nuanced. I think you have to understand it more. I think women are very unique, um, compared to men. And I think that, um, you're like a snowflake. <laughs> well, yes. I, I just think in that, I think in that, in, in, a, in a sexual sense, I think that like, you know, women just, they're just, it's just more complicated. Um, I actually, th- I, my personal opinion is that the pleasure that they get when they're able to achieve it is much better than the pleasure that the men get. It's, well, I think see, we just assume that. Seemed, yeah, exactly. We're assuming. It seems like it is. They said the reaction is certainly that of more pleasure, more sustained pleasure, longer pleasure. So that's that's where I get into this, and I'm just you know throwing myself that's under the bus here. That's where I get into this. Is are they just over? Dramatizing the whole thing? Maybe. You know. Maybe because they're rarer. <laughs> because like I I would. I am often shocked that it feels as good as they're making it seem like it is. Because I'm like, I know I'm not doing that good of a job, but you're making it seem like I'm doing but a no, there, good I mean, job. But no, I mean, there's... You were but maybe about, I you, am. You were talking about the number of nerves in your gut. There are, uh, what is it, double the nerves in the clit than there are in the penis? Isn't that something like that? I'll go to the Google for that. But that that is a true statement that there's more nerve endings on the women's side. So well, maybe, maybe that's where women are from. also a little less inhibited with their vocalizations because a guy mm. might think, oh, I'm going to look stupid if I'm like, ah, mm. you know. Kermit the Frog. Right. Yeah, that's going to be a good shift. So women, you know, I don't know, it's kind of more of, a, it's, it's known and I mean, even watching porn or whatever, women are the more, the vocal kind of, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe men are also a little insecure about how yeah, they maybe Yeah, maybe it has to do with sound or... Yeah, it has to do with like norms, look. like societal norms as well. Right. But yeah, I just feel like it's more complicated for the woman, maybe. Damn. Because the body is just a little more complicated with yeah. the woman. On the fucking button. Yeah. The uh, clit has 8,000 nerve endings. The male penis has 4,000. Oh, So maybe, so, the, you know, so the Oh, and while the clit is quite small, its powerful sensations can spread across a woman's pelvic area by, effect, by affecting 15,000 other nerve endings. Yeah, I think Thanks, I think internet. I think it's just a, I <laughs> think it's just I think that the parts are just obviously very different, and I think that that's it's, frustrating. I don't think it's frustrating I I at could, all. I think is, it's fascinating. This is we've had a topic yeah. I think on before. What would you do? What would you? Yeah, was it, would you bang everybody if you were a girl? If you switched into a, a girl's yeah. body for whatever? And I said no. The first thing I would do is masturbate. Yeah. Because I want to know what everything feels like. I want to know what yeah, feels you gotta get, good. You got to learn how to drive the car exactly. before you mm-hmm. put your right now. In. I don't have a license. <laughs> they just put me behind the wheel and say go yeah, for no. it. And I'm like I'm smashing into mailboxes. I don't know. I'm stuck in ditches. Right. Yeah. That's how I feel always. Now, for the record, but you gave me an, the evil eye because you saw I was brewing on something over here. You were saying it's obvious when you're a little kid. I used to think that when you got an erection, that's when you wouldn't be able to have sex. Oh, that's funny. Because like you watch, like I remember watching TV or whatever with my parents, all these you know sitcoms and yada yada yada. And I think even there's a Seinfeld, but I don't think I think it's a good example of what I'm talking about. But I was too old for it at that point. Of where like 
George is, you know, when George couldn't get an erection, right? Mm-hmm. So he couldn't have sex. So he's sitting there in bed and he's like acting like he's going to hit it and he's all like embarrassed or whatever. In similar situations, like probably like married with children and yada, yada, yada. I assume that when it went hard, that was a problem because I didn't know what I was doing. Like something's wrong. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. thought it meant Let's... I had to pee. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it often does. My, yeah, I was going to say maybe. My babysitter told me. Kevin's mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's awkward. True story. <laughs> True story of Kevin's That's mother. Story. So, Greg, I, I don't think, you know, in closing, I don't think that there's anything to be frustrated about. I think that you have to enjoy and embrace the mystique of it. Try to discover the nuance sure, of sure. the lady that you're with. And yeah. really kind of delve into the adventure, Greg. Yeah. Don't shy yeah. away from it. Yeah. Don't shy away from it. Yeah. And just think that there's no there's no adventure with you. Because you're just another man, right? With the same fucking one trick that you do, you know. Yeah. The woman is the real <laughs> rare breed that needs to be taken care of. Sure. Wow. In, this, in this respect. Well, that see, and that's what I was talking about. You know, to, to quickly have you withdraw your ah comment. Uh, I was talking about the show. I like to read. I like to read my porn. I don't like to watch porn. I like to read stories what? about porn. I like wow. the literotica. And the reason I like it is because I, it's this. I didn't all put together till right now. Believe it or not, is and the reason I like it is because it's usually written from a female's perspective of her enjoying sex. Mm. Now again, she's not wow. giving me. It's not like a manual. If she was giving me more manual instructions on everything I should be doing, that'd be helpful. First, you must. And this yeah. is yeah. great your... sex because <laughs> so this yeah. happened first. And then that's it's... crazy, though, because, wow, I mean, for dudes, it really is kind of straightforward. Most guys There's are very visual. Like, Ugh. I mean, I'm not sure. That was a stupid sound. I mean, no, no that's, that's the stupid. sound we make. Well, like, it's right. You see the visuals. There's visual, and, and then just the stimulation. I was a great man. <laughs> There's a defined uh, end. Yeah, Melissa, we need a generic man voice. Perfect. You got the job. I think there's a defined end. To the male orgasm, whereas the female orgasm end is undefined. Yeah, there's a bunch of different, mm. whole bunch of different shit. Yeah, happens. you can. Yeah, like oh, I don't even want to get into it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, this could. I mean, yeah. We, we can be here all, all night. night. We can be here all night. Where's the ladies in the house? <laughs> get in. They they're both in their bedrooms. They don't come yeah, on they're camera. Like, they don't come on camera for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't. What was? Oh, god damn it, Tim! I would never ever put that together. You're horrible. Oh, look, I, just not I got a bone remember. to pick. They're not gonna come on camera. Relax, Greg. All right, you fucking pervert. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is as good a place as ever. Any, ever, any, any, and ever. Before we jump to another topic, the final topic, to talk a little bit about what we're gonna do on Patreon. For that, because you remember we put out that Patreon exclusive episode. Yes, you people loved it. Thank you so much, everybody over at patreoncom slash funny Had a huge, great time with it. Huge time with it. That's not you, huge had a, time. you had a huge, huge time with it. Did you? Yeah. I get, there was there was uh, there was a huge groundswell of enjoyment over it. Groundswell. Lots of people joined Patreon to get it. Lot, so we have a, new, a lot of new patrons out there. Thank you so much for that. Hello. Uh, and we talked about in that episode that we were trying to figure out what we're going to do going forward yes. for it. So now it's time to talk because then we're like, well, maybe we'll do an exclusive topic mm-hmm. every week. Then we saw how much people loved the one event episode where they were like, "You were so laid black, ba- black, <laughs> laid black." You can tell I took a week off. I, I tried to do Go some. To new, I tried to do a news video today at IGN. Oof, that was rough. You can tell I have not read from anything in a long time. We were laid back, and so we want to give it that kind of giant exp- thing again. So what we're talking about is doing another Patreon exclusive episode, mm-hmm. end of November, because that's the month we're in now. Yeah. I'm looking at you to make sure I have yes. this out on screen. So. In November. That last week in November. One episode. Another big. Exclusive. But the one episode, like last time was just a normal episode where we right. do the four topics. What we're trying to do now is a little something different. Because you guys liked how, how laid back that all was. <laughs> and uh, for this one, we're going to do one topic for the hour and a half duration. Right. But it's going to be a bigger topic. Sure. An umbrella. Yeah. So it, instead yeah. of say Tim, what's your topic? We'll say Tim, what's your story or something along those lines. Yeah, and it's just like we'll have a topic, and each of us will tell a story about it or something. I don't know. We haven't really thought too much about yeah. this, but it's something that we want to talk about for more than twenty minutes. Shocking! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to bring everyone to speed. We're, the show develops in front of them every each yeah. and every week here. And tweet at us also, and let us know if you have any ideas for these crazy topics. That's tweet good. at me at Tim Gettys, and let me know what your big topics are, and we'll have big conversations on them. Yeah. And probably Huge. not next week, but the week after that, we'll do the next uh, Patreon hangout. Our thir- I'm telling you that. I'm not asking you. Don't look mm-hmm. off in the distance. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about what's happening. What? 
I, this is something else I wanted to bring up about you that I had never noticed. Usually, I, I inhabit your chair. Okay. Not, it's, it's just cursed in general. The cursed chair. It's not literally this chair that's cursed. It's just the guest chair. Okay. So regardless of what chair you sit in, you're cursed. Fantastic. I hope you're not going on a scooter across railroad tracks anytime soon. Not anytime soon. God, you're really playing up the curse angle. It, oh. It's something cool. A, I'm a I'm a I'm, I'm a cool. positive human being. I believe Love in curses. manifesting only good. So. Okay, I've never noticed before, Colin, that when you talk on the show or tell stories, you kind of just look at the mirror. Yeah, well, like that's the way I see Tim, and usually you. Oh, that's fat. What are you looking at? I look, you looked at Kevin. Now that Kevin's here, yeah, it's so hard not to just look at him because before yeah, before he too. was here, there would be times where we're saying something, and I would look at the camera because I knew he watched, and it would be for him. But now that he's there, it's. Hard and he not. has such a great smile. He's a great, a great smile. How have, the, like how have the photoshops been They're coming the best. Out? Yeah. They're Remember, the I send People photoshops are... to Tim here of what you think Kevin looks like. People are treating anyone named Kevin. Just pictures of them. I've seen Kevin. Arnold, sure you... Kevin. Every Kevin. Every Kevin <laughs> in the Kevin world. Kevin from uh, home, home, home Alone, right? Was yeah. One of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure you send them to ah! at kind of funny vids as well yes. so we're getting them on twitter for yeah like this i was playing with the door the other day because i was trying to find something but the, when the doors are shut people can't see them and then we have in california is a weird thing where like all the fucking closets are mirrors i have no I idea that. why the fuck anything is like like why you'd even want that but they're here and everywhere i've ever lived in california and it re- makes a good way for me i can see nick fine yeah and i look at nick a lot but i feel like i'm not oh, engaged sorry. with you and especially tim because so, I'm yeah, angled this weird. way, so it's my way to like engage, even though he probably has no idea I'm looking at him half the time. Yeah, no. And uh, <laughs> and and you because you're right next to me. Nice. So it's very useful. You should try it. Okay. I like my. Seat. Well, I look at the camera a lot. I talk to the people. Oh, I don't. I don't. I try to act like the camera's not there. No, very I, very I nonchalant, the Greg. Very nonchalant. Earlier today, I said I'm Nick because I was adjusting the knobs. Oh, I, I like didn't that. say it. I I mouthed it. I yeah, guess. they knew. They knew. They knew because mm-hmm. they're best friends. <laughs> Tim. Yes. What's your topic? So my topic today is the Virgin America safety dance video. <laughs> now I'm usually Fuck. I'm yes. usually on the up and come up and coming here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. What's on the it's mind? It's just going to keep um, going. I liked Okay, real quick just to blow ourselves up. I liked how when you mentioned you wanted to do this as a topic, I'm like, "Oh yeah, Virgin <laughs> America I'll retweet that." I opened with fuck and you led with come. This shit, literally the social media person was like, "Nope." Yeah, hopefully they don't watch it. They just tweet it out. Um, well, we could always start again at the topic right now and like have that be the end of the last topic. That's, that's, that's not no, how we do why it. Why would we want to do we that? That doesn't make Roll any and sense. Start. So I'm usually like talking about new videos that have just come out whenever I do these dumb things. But this one's for a fairly old video now. What are you guys' thoughts it's, on this video? It's what? It, it's not a year. Probably yet. It's about a year. Maybe, is it no, year? I think it's coming up <sighs> close to a year. I feel like I've seen it eight million times already. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I have. I have reams of paper when it comes to thoughts on this. All right, that's how much I have thought about Lay this. Dot matrix Greg. paper. You know, Patel, you got to go. I'm about to get serious. Oh, he's not gonna go. He's gonna come right back. He doesn't go. <laughs> he, he walks <laughs> under the table. People see him. They laugh. Uh, Tim, you know that I fly pretty much exclusively Virgin America. If yes. they go to a city, I'll go only with them. Mm-hmm. You and I both love the frequent flyer miles. We're mm-hmm. big Elevate members. I'm Elevate Silver. It's a big deal for me. I, I'm gonna plan on begging them not to take that away at the end of the year. I remember the first time I saw <laughs> the original Virgin America Safety yes. cartoon. The yes, cartoon. Yes. I remember thinking that's cool. And mm-hmm. had the good voiceover too. That yeah. kind yeah. of like voiceover that was oh. very, you know. You should get into voices. I should. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this is really good. Then I saw it more, and I was like, I'm sick of this video. Mm-hmm. And then I saw it more, and I'm like, I hate this video. And then I saw it more, and I'm like. I, this and keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is dark, you probably don't remember this. This is the dark ages. You couldn't use your PS Vitas. You mm. couldn't use your PSPs. Oh, I know. You couldn't use time. your Game Boys. You had to sit there and watch this or read a magazine. The Sky Mall. Oh, cool! You got a Bigfoot that made a bronze for me to put in my front yard. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Sky Mall. So you had, and I remember I despised this fucking video. I wanted, like, I was like, just crash the plane so I never have to see this video again. And then I was walking through the IGN office one day, and they were wa- they were watching over at Alex Olmia's old desk. It was up, and I walked over, and I started watching the new mm, music video, yeah. and I was like, this is really good, and I stopped myself, and I walked away, and I was like, I don't need to see it now. I'm going to see it the rest of my life. It doesn't yeah. matter. They've hit the sweet spot with this video, in Greg Miller's opinion, oh. where I, I started, I'm like, this is good. St- went further, I'm like, I fucking hate this video. Stop singing. Then I'd find myself singing it in the shower, singing it wherever I am. Then I'd find myself going to the airport, excited that I'd get to sing this goddamn song. Oh then God. I found myself fantasizing 
that one day maybe I'll make it to the Jimmy Fallon show. And like my little quirky thing I'll be is like, I can sing the entire Virgin America <laughs> flight song. And then I'll do it there on the show a little bit. Tonight, get ready to fly. We're going to live it on up in the sky. Virgin America knows oh all the places you want to now, now, here's where we're going to get dark. Here's where we're going to get dark. <laughs> I shit you not. There was a part, you know, at the end when they do like the panning shot, and we want to thank you for flying yeah. Virgin America. Right before they do the part where we sing, I teared up at. No. <laughs> <I didn't. laughs> no, dude. There's a honestly. It was things an especially like, emotional. That's like no. That's I was like, there's a nice swell to it. There's exactly. Like, they there's got you with the music and stuff. They know what they're doing now. And then they're all dancing, and I'm like, these people are having such a great time. Yeah. yeah no. Will I ever have such a good so time? Funny. I know, right? So, I want to be them. Fun facts about this video. The the main singer and dancer in it is Todd Rakal, super big YouTube guy, huge fan of him. Which guy is the main dancer? The, There's so many. the guy I just said, the tonight, get yeah. ready. Okay. Yeah, 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 that guy. Okay. He's, Who does the thing with the safety cart and he goes. Yeah, like, and he goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he, he's awesome and he's wow. most known on YouTube wow. for making ridiculously high production music videos yeah. uh, where he takes Disney songs and like Disney stuff and like remixes it and it's so awesome like okay. you know the beginning of Beauty and the Beast when Belle's like walking reading the book and like everyone's all like dun, 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 dun. yes That's they did that but in the hood and it's oh, nice. so funny okay. like they did That's such rad. a good job with that anyway so this guy's super awesome and he, he's always hanging out at Disneyland a lot of my friends see him when they go to Disneyland and he's a, he's a cool dude they're like hey thanks for the Virgin America song he's like yeah thanks for liking it and that's cool in addition to that the video was directed by the guy that directed the step up series which makes it even better I don't step up if there's one movie not, series you, uh, so I don't I love stepped up mm-hmm. I mean step, step, <laughs> stepped up stepped on up hey I yeah. love that kid movie wasn't, I like stepped up yeah, that was a good one wasn't a what's his name Magic Mike was in the first one wasn't it? It, was rad. it was insane Channing Tatum um, I was maybe in a really bad mood it was flying to New York Oh yeah, and I guess for some strange reason, this is the first time I've been on Virgin for apparently way too long, and I was pissed at that video. I was actually like angry and pissed, and wanted it to go away. But how? Now I don't know. Maybe whoa. I wasn't listening. Maybe there was something, or maybe yeah, I was you must have not been listening. Because it's good. I, I now I well, you know what? I'm flying Virgin mm. uh, in like a few weeks or a month or something. So now I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to. Clean slate. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with well, an yeah, were open you, mind. Yeah, were you just gonna, did you drink a Gatorade before you went there? Was yeah, that the problem? Like a Gatorade. <laughs> um, Man, it's crazy. Or maybe also, and this is totally not, not switching subjects, but switching airlines. But Delta has this really awesome, like, and maybe I'm just an old ass person. It was like 1980s. You guys probably are like Delta. <laughs> No, yeah. I flew to de- the Delta story. You have to bring me up to speed because here's I'll give you the walk in that I know about it because I we have a friend named John Drake. Okay. Who flies, we used to fly more than any other human being. I still flies way right. too much. And I remember him telling me when I was talking about how much I loved the Virgin America City like, oh, song. Uh, he was talking about the fact that Delta does a video now yeah. that's a parody of an original Delta video. Where like now there's all these crazy psych gags behind it and all this other stuff. Well, this was like a 1980s. It was like everybody's like from the 80s and had okay. the hair okay. band. I mean, it was, it's just very clever. And so I guess I kind of, um, when I saw Virgins, I was like, this is just fucking cheesy but i was no. maybe in a i'm so i know again you guys you i'll be on the airline <laughs> i know <laughs> see this is it's you crazy wait. you say that because you were talking about the the old video I the old version like one it. and hating it yeah and it's just like but I, I, I saw it so much exactly and, and i couldn't I get do that. anything else during it yeah now so i can say but did any other airline have something better because i feel like those just made me so mad because every especially united all they do is just Hey, so you, we're telling you all this stuff, and also we remind you a million times why we're awesome. And I guess Virgin does that too, but they do it in song. And United just does it in this bullshit where they're just like, we have, and they start throwing stats at you. I feel like I'm in a damn Sony press oh, yeah, no, conference. That, and this that is one's like lame. some fucking bullshit. Yeah, that one, I don't that like that lame. at all. I, I want to tell you, I'm going to tell you a story real quick about the best part of that <laughs> new song. Okay. The old song was great. I thought, or the old cartoon was was clever mm-hmm. because there was nothing really like that. I, I'm not. I don't want to speak definitively, but I feel like they kind of invented the more 
Completely. They're 100%. funny. 100%. Yeah, like, like yeah. That like was the silly. first time I ever was told by someone to go to YouTube and watch an airline safety video. Dude, have you? Yeah, right. Yeah, it was it was good. Uh, no. Hey, hey, Melissa, we need a we need a, somebody who you think watches YouTube. <laughs> yeah. and which, Dude, sh- you gotta <laughs> check this shit out, man. Can you throw a hella in there? <laughs> All this shit's hella cool. Yeah. 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 Hella yeah. funny. Uh, so I, it shows a, a nice self awareness that they were able to do that, and they they knew that V one was getting long in the tooth, and they did another one. Yeah. Um, but and I hope they do that like every eighteen months or two years. That'd be cool to do like a new one, since especially a lot of us fly Virgin quite often. Although well, they remixed this one. Keep it fresh. Oh, oh they didn't know that. No, I did not know they remixed. Well, it. they You're remixed like, it just because they changed oh, the rules of the. Yeah, uh, yeah where they, they, you can finally leave your, huh? your no, you can device turn oh, right. on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So they, and they added, yeah, they added like, I don't, that's we're going hey. a bit far to say hey. a remix retooled. Thank you. That's better. Yeah, it's not like the Christian Bale. But the the best part the best part of the song is the robot part of the song. I like the robot part uh, very much. I like that part very much. No, no, no! Under your seat, there's a light burst. Oh my <laughs> God! The, the dance between the sector over us. I like that. I like the dance moves on that yeah. one. Oh my that God! Was, they're yeah. great. I like um, the little girl rapping. Yeah, the little girl rapping is good. The one, the one part that bothers me. There's part that bothers me about it. Oh, okay. The girl putting the seatbelt on. That like doesn't know how to put the seatbelt on. Oh, what about that bothers you? Oh. It's, uh, it's just anno- it's just annoying. Like, I used to too be- much movement, too no, complicated. No, 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 too no. There's two. There's no. I didn't like it in the beginning, and then I'll, oh, you're here, so this will even be better for you. It's a good tie-in for you. Right. Is that the guy who's like the guy who's like I can't believe this girl mm-hmm. does it? He is a knockoff Scott Porter. He is a uh. knockoff Scott Porter. <laughs> Scott Porter should have gotten that role. He's, I don't know who the hell Scott Porter Scott is. Scott Porter Friday Night Lights. Uh, he hasn't been in any YouTube videos, so, yeah, so I don't all, know. So I can't help you. It's funny you say this though. In The Walking Dead. No, 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 no. I got nothing. That guy and the, so this video is just full of pretty people. Yeah, like oh yeah. everyone in that video is just gorgeous and amazing. Specifically that man. Every time I see him, I'm like, well, that's just how beautiful. much you love Scott Porter. I was like, I want my hair like that. I want to be that I guy. Be he that looks guy. so good in that suit, and he just sits there and like she's doing the whole thing, and like she finally figures it out, and he's just like, Whew. yeah, yeah, I want to be. That see, I, and I use, but like when I saw it at first, I was like. What's this bitch's problem? Like, put the right, seatbelt on. Right, you know what right. I mean? And she's doing, but then she does this this flare that I love every time, and I'll catch it every time where she just goes like this. And you're like, all oh, right, I like you again. Yeah, so weird, crazy, you're so weird dude, that you like know the nuances. No, so it's now, crazy. Here, you, you, I thought you, when you you talk about the seatbelt the seatbelt thing, I'll, this is now this is of course me judging a book by its cover, and not. I'll just tell you what it is and then I'll backfill what I'm going to say. The one thing that annoyed me on first watching of the video is that the woman who's the flight attendant who introduces the seatbelt and does the, for the point zero zero that does not, really? I mean, what? And I'm like, looking at her teeth, I'm like, why are you still wearing your Invisalign? Oh. As, Damn. as a person who used Invisalign, loved Invisalign, I endorsed the product. You can tell that on those, like, those... 480i TVs, whatever the yeah. hell they are. And, it, and it's not, maybe your teeth are just super shiny. But it, And I've had other friends who have said something to that effect as well. Mm. It just looked like she was wearing a Invisalign. And then I thought, you know, whatever. I took my Invisalign out when I was on camera because I didn't want that she. What she wants it, good on her. Mm. I don't care. And I came to grips with it. So I, I got over my own biases about her yeah. teeth on that one. The part that I don't like about it, and I, I'm still okay with it. It's not that bad. I love this video. It's a perfect video. Is is toward it's the end part that right the the like epic part where yeah. it all like rises. Thank you for flying Birch in America, and then they run out with fucking flags yeah, well, and you tear up. <laughs> <laughs> that part's awesome, but the thank you for flying. It sounds like they couldn't get everyone in sync at the right time, mm. so they're always like they're like thank you for flying Birch in like. <laughs> syllable by syllable, I'm like, what? What happened? You guys nailed this whole song up until yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, I actually think that the the audio syncing's off on that part too. Like, if you if you that's the actually one of the things that sticks out to me the most so is that funny. like is that you can you like everything the syncing's totally fine on the entire song except for that part where the three flight attendants come out at the end and they're talking. Yeah. And they're behind, like they're, the audio is behind them. Yeah, and I, it pisses me off. But what was a great video, Greg. That's it. I okay. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Too much. There's still so much more yeah. to talk about. One, of, one of my other favorite things is all of the nods to the first video. Like, we got the nun. Yeah. And Who has like one that? of the, the most... I mean, like, there's a lot of unsung heroes in the Virgin America flight video. But the <laughs> nun is definitely up there because they take her phone and then she's all pissed about it. But then she gets into it and she does a shimmy. Yeah. And he's like, you're completely covered and you're a nun. But that's fucking sexy. Yeah. See, <laughs> I really hoped that they had... <laughs> I really hope that they would bring the the smoker chick from the um, sure where she does like the yeah. things puts it out. How awesome would it be if she had the trench coat on and like reenacted yeah. that in the video? Man, 
We're, we can just hope. Well, I was and I, I was expecting the bull in the matador again because mm, yeah. the bull in the matador was such a great thing from the original video that you didn't see it. Now we've uh, we've uh, unsung heroes that we've glossed over. Y'all mentioned the rapping little girl. Yeah, let's fucking talk about the rapping little girl. Oh. this girl is on fire. I thought you were talking about her parents, which are the best Oh my part. god, her mom is the <laughs> yeah. best. God. When they do that thing, you're watching, wow. you're like, and she does that thing where she, like, <laughs> looks, looks, <laughs> she looks at each side of it. <laughs> wow. <"Damn>, this <laughs> shit is <laughs> God. Oh God! I feel that. so inept right but now. But I fucking love this video. But like, that's I like another to. one of my great, my favorite moments, or whatever. But like, there's also that thing of like unsung heroes. Back to the little girl. She's a sung hero. We're singing her praises right now. Yes. A shout out to the guys who run shout off with the part of the plane when it falls down. And she's like, "Are oh, you bobbing your head to the yeah. rap scene? Your eyes all glued to the flat screen." Yeah, you didn't know my obsession with this no, video. No, it's funny. Wow. Like going into this, like I thought you didn't like it. I thought you no. were sick of it. Oh, I'm so happy to hear no. this. This is great. You and guys now, must be disappointed in me then. No, no, no. Because I, I can get it. I totally understand. Right. Well, I, like I said, I might have been in a bad mood. Maybe I wasn't listening. Do they make you listen to yes, it? Yes, yeah. they yeah. force you to listen to it. But see, this is why. See, this is why. Maybe I was was like pissed. This is one of the reasons I think I like it so much more than the original video is because the original video you were forced to listen to it still right. and you couldn't do anything else Yeah. now there are days where I get on there and I'm like I'm in a bad mood I don't want to listen I put on my headphones and I play a game or I listen to songs yeah. nope, I okay. never every single time I get in a plane I'm listening to music like from beginning to end yeah. but when that comes Not on sure pause. that was the thing I, we're doing this, guys. Oh I flew God. to and from Missouri. Wow. Freedom Wars the entire way. Playing ad hoc. Maybe I bring a plane down. Maybe I don't. Me and Stammer got to get these Panopticons free, though. Uh, literally playing, and that's it, pop them off. I want to. Yeah. I, I don't need to hear these Japanese words. I can't understand. I want to watch and listen right. to this song. You know what yeah. I mean? Now, amazing video. Unsung heroes we haven't gotten to. The Smoking Kit. Oh my the god! The smoking kid yeah. kills it. Mm. He's so good. <laughs> yes, He's so good. And the like the, the the opera guy. Right. Yeah. That introduces the, nearest the smoking exit kid. Might be behind you. Yeah. And like he interrupts the nun. <laughs> you think it's the nun singing? Yeah. I'm really disturbed you. by your obsession with this song, dude. <laughs> it's so it's a good song. I usually at this point tune out until the rapping robots, and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna watch this part, and then I stop again. So do you that. enjoy now that they were the fillers when they were like when they had at the remix as Tim no. yeah, calls yeah. or whatever, where they just have the fuck the guy bouncing around with the baby on his yeah. I love that they film B roll yeah. and they just like put it put it in a vault. <laughs> we'll need it one day. Yeah. Save the, yeah, SD the FAA. Cards. Well did you guys see the behind the scenes video that plays? Yeah. If you just leave the thing on like if you don't touch the, the screen, scenes? it goes to the behind the scenes. Oh sure. It's awesome. Damn. Yeah. Man, I'm I really, really like they this. Did I love that video. There's a problem in that you've literally called every character in the video a, a sung or an unsung hero, which means mm. that there's just no one left. Yeah. If you there's notice, just no. There's no fodder at all. No, there are. There is. Uh, there. There are the flight attendants who. Just in case we must evacuate, mm -hmm. we got a plan of attack. I did not. Yeah, they, the they, they are. They are people who do things in the video. They are. They, and, uh, it's still catchy. Two in the front, eight, two in the front. And then they do like the salsa dance. Just again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. E I do like the, uh, okay, the unsung hero. The guy who designed the video where they go, e Jackson is equipped with an inflatable oh, yeah, the And the music stops. stops. <laughs> wow. You, you should just draw a storyboard for it because you know the whole yeah. fucking video. <laughs> Yeah. Well, so well, a weird thing we need to recreate this video just for the shit oh my god goes. definitely Pertello's in it Pertello's gonna be the little the smoke this kid. happens to me every single time I see this video I'll be on the plane and it happens and then once it's over and once the epic part happens I get this feeling where I'm just like there's someone on this plane like some older person that's just like that was crazy I can't believe they did that yeah I just really hope that that person feels that way I hope there's one oh, there's person somebody, on this somebody gets, is magical every time yeah then you got a bunch of I, well, I always feel there's a bunch of goobers know. around that are like I hate this, this video I'm like, I fucking hate you I hate you're on this plane with me right now you need to get the fuck off now if you'd like to know this is uh, me and Nick Scarpino were flying back from LA after something and I forget what the worst experience I ever had with the music video is that there is a Virgin America flight attendant a real human being oh sings oh. Who, does the thing. No, 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 no. He doesn't sing it. He, he enacts it. the entire thing. Oh, well, he's that I would be like standing slow clap no. to I was sitting on the aisle. Blown. I'm like, I no. guess I'm in row four what? or whatever. I'm, I'm in too row much? four because there's just the two, two first, uh, first class things who can't right. see it or anything. So this is what he's doing. He's enacting it for him. And it's like, fine. 
You're doing your show for them, whatever. But then this motherfucker, he'll jump up and then plant his hands on the bins and like kick his legs around. But then, <laughs> but then he does, he did a thing. This is, is where he, this is where he crossed the line because I was having a bad right, day and I didn't right. want to listen and I had the music on and I had the headphones on. I didn't want to hear it. I was tired. I was grumpy. And he ran back and at some point kind of bumped my headphones. Uh, and I was like, mm, no. I, at first, uh, I just thought you were not doing a good. Now, now I'm mad. A at you. Yeah, I'm mad at you. <laughs> no ambitious. He is. He's full of Damn. ambition. He's re- reaching too much for them stars, if you know what I'm saying about yeah. the first wow. American thing. <sighs> I'm impressed by that. We got to get Todd Recall on the show sometime. Okay. I think if this doesn't get him, the fact that <laughs> I know seriously? I know this entire song word you for word, I like can storyboard his... it if you want. Yeah. I could recast it down. To... He has a MTV show now. We're mm-hmm. never getting him on the show. Yeah, no, he's, he's a cool dude. But yeah, he just got a reality show based on. His YouTube life. What's he gonna? Do oh on? well, then you might get him. about him making fun videos and stuff. Oh, then yeah, we get on here for that. Yeah, yeah, That'd be cool. yeah. yeah. We can fit another camera in here, another four guys, sound people. <laughs> yeah. sure. we, have, we have this huge studio. Mm-hmm. It'll be easy to fit. Very big. In here. Very yes. big. Yes. Yeah. I just can we get at least one of the unsung Vast. heroes of that video? <sighs> if we can get the the the, the little girl, the mm-hmm. smoking boy, maybe robots. somebody of age. Robots. You want one, one of the robots? Yeah. Can we get one of the robots and just have him in the back, just bouncing around the whole time? No, we never explain it. What if we get Sir Richard Branson in here? Yes, quite. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh uh, yeah, Melissa, we need uh, your Sir Richard Branson. <laughs> yes. So when when the the Jabberwocky, like the robot dude, has the baby and he's all shaking, yeah. I'm always like, is that good for the baby? Has a baby? No, it's not. You have to shake a baby so hard to hurt. Like, God, I don't I, do you? I don't know. This is a, from everything anyone's ever told me is don't shake babies. Well, yeah, but I mean like. Oh, yeah, the Jabberwocky dudes are in it, aren't they? I don't think it's actually them. I think but they're like the, rip-off. The, what is a Jabberwocky right. dude? They're Jabberwockies like a, are the, in Vegas. Like, the, are they in Vegas now? Is that they have their, their own like show. They're well, this on was uh, the MTV, the dance show. Oh, man, I they can't wear masks. The they America's dance. Best Dance Crew. Okay, they're <laughs> they dance. They do jazz ABC. hands. It's, in, it's quite impressive. They're really cool. Okay. <laughs> I, that, that baby's fine. He wasn't... I don't know, man. That guy was like... Like, he was really shaking. And that baby was like... Get all shaken up and no one's no, gonna know that there's Colin, a problem with that baby. In Colin, years. you're pretty much a doctor. That's yeah. not enough shaking to hurt a baby. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> we'll see yeah. in ten years. I do <sighs> want to see a video about the the kids from the Virgin America video Dan, in ten years. Yeah. Another another hero that I didn't call out either sung or unheard. again. This is a person. I'm giving you more examples of people. Yeah. There's the guy. Who doesn't know if he wants to put his laptop in the back thing on the seat beside him? And they say, you nice try. And then he eventually does this. He's gone the rest of the video. And then he does, he does one of these things for, like, during, the, yeah. during the freestyle section. You're just like, get out of your laptop, guy. You're not <laughs> doing the best he can. You're not with a cool. Here is here is an unsung hero oh, of the video. Jesus Christ. There is like a motorcycle guy in the vest. <laughs> <laughs> who gets like his crap bumped in the beginning he's all mad and then like he's ne- he never does anything uh, cool yeah, he never right. has a moment he never has a moment where he does something awesome hey, in the video one day there's gonna be some new rule that changes on planes and we're gonna see that footage right oh, it's gonna be a good no, I'll be listen, listen Greg I want listen. the extended cut you've the, here's the thing okay <laughs> You know the video so intimately that you've watched this on YouTube like 400 times. No, I've because watched there's it on YouTube no way. half and then I've watched it the rest on Virgin America. Because there's no way you've flown that much this year. To have this is how I'm an Elevate America. Silver member, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm Greg, I've flown on Virgin maybe <laughs> maybe six, seven times this year round trip. Yeah, you need to step your game up. But that's 14 times I've seen that video. Yeah. You speak about the video as if you've seen it... <laughs> I don't know, 150 times. On Pertillo's Life, I've never watched it on YouTube except for the first time in IGN when people were like, and I only watched half of it and I left. I I've seen it that, I I that much. I don't know if I believe you. I know, I've seen it enough like where I get excited. To, not there. <laughs> <laughs> there are flights where I just watch the words. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, <laughs> I just no. Where they like, drop and do different things because they have all these like, interesting things. Honestly, it is such a well-produced video. Like, from a video production standpoint, when you look at the sets and all the like, yeah, just the sets the really doing, I'm like, holy shit! They put a lot of money and work and effort into it. That's when virgin. you first look at it, you're just like, oh, it's just it looks pretty simple. No, there's a lot of changes and a lot of stuff going on there, and even the words, just the way that they come yeah. in, like yeah. the motion graphics, they're good. They're making spaceships. The least they can do is spend a little bit of money on their fucking safety. Uh, it's true. Although yeah. I think uh, one of their spaceships just actually crashed. It, it did. did. Yeah. 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 Way to bring that but one down. Do you yeah, think they played the video? Huh? I don't think they played the video. No, they're still in the testing footage. We have to talk about that again at some point because that's a commercial good. space flight. We should just talk about it. At some sure, point. that'll be another topic that comes up again. But I really, I really appreciate their commitment and public statement to we're sticking with this. Like you know, this is this is terrible, and you know we mourn the loss of our person, but. Like there's gonna be sacrifices in this thing. Yeah, she's like she's like NASA. I mean, everyone forgets the I think Apollo one. I mean, not to mention other ones before that. I think the first Apollo mission like blew up, so it wasn't like 
you know, we stuck with it. And then by Apollo 11, we went to, we were, we landed on the moon, so. Oh, did we? Yeah, well, we did. (laughs) We got through the Van Allen belt, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I actually just appreciate Virgin generally because I was reading some things. Someone was talking to me about uh, Richard Branson or whatever, and he was saying... Sir uh, Richard, Sir Richard Branson. Branson. Sir Richard Branson. I don't think that he makes any money on Virgin America at all. I think that, like, they just like to have a good, like, airline that people enjoy. Yeah. And make, he makes his money elsewhere. You know, he seems like a... He's an entrepreneur, obviously, but he's he's a, a very successful entrepreneur, but he's willing to spend his money. In I think, yeah, things. wasn't there some... There was some joke, right? Like, if you ever want to... If you, the fastest way from being a billionaire to a millionaire is to start an airline or something, right? Because like so much money has to go into it to make yep. it work and stuff like that. But it's the best airlines. So yeah, they go. make it damn work. Yeah. Virgin's in a whole other league. <laughs> Those purple lights, and I'm a fan of blue. If they had blue lights, I'd, I would sure. go somewhere else instantly. Jet it's blue, just the experience. Jet kind of right. trying it, but it doesn't work. The, like everything, you know, no, everybody's trying to. You know, you go on, yeah. I, I, when you have to go on a Southwest thing, which we have to oh, go on soon here in a second. I know, we got to go. But like, I, I appreciate now at least they're like, well, hey, like you're, you, we don't have TVs, but you can connect your iPad to the free internet and then stream stuff. It's like, all right, then you're making an effort, but this is still a janky ass non virgin thing. Yeah. You, know you guys I mean? should download the video, put it on your phones. <laughs> yeah. When the Play. safety video time comes on, just. Play the, just ignore what the when you're on Southwest doing. Oh, play the I see one. what you're saying. Yeah. Well, then you won't know what's under your. Just your, just doing that. Bring a couple purple LEDs. Put them cool. up. Oh your my thing. god! It's funny the the Virgin experience really is top notch because wow. I used to actually only fly JetBlue back in the day mm. because of the TVs. Sure. And Virgin America was like it's fuck just, your TVs. Yeah, we have TVs too. No, on some real shit though. JetBlue like Virgin's TVs service used to be good. I don't know what happened. They like made some different deals with people, and so now they don't have all the channels. But JetBlue still has all the channels. Yeah, you oh, can right? actually pay yeah. to have like everything on JetBlue too, like all mm. of this. Or all That's of the one Virgin downside. Movies. There was a few times that I forgot about it that, and I'd be on Virgin. I'm like, oh, and I get to watch The Walking Dead tonight because I usually fly back from places on Sunday. I say black again. I got black on the brain. I'm black. <laughs> I fly <laughs> back Sundays, and yeah, I was like, oh, and they don't have any AMC. Or AMC. Yeah. So yeah, it's weird. They don't have a lot of like random channels like MTV. Like, but they got Boing Boing. Boing. You ever watch that Boing Boing? Well, so that's the thing though that Virgin does have, and this is a huge win for me, is they have the random YouTube video channels. Yeah. And they'll just be like hour long videos of just like uh, Retin Link or Buzzfeed or whatever, and it's just hardly been on. on there. Everything just, on well, yeah, there. like all that stuff. Um, but then the unsung hero of the Virgin flights is the GoPro channel. You can just put that thing on, yeah, yeah, yeah. just watch all this crazy shit happening, listen to music, and it's awesome. You see the little, like, lion pups. Are they called yeah. pups? I, I wish they put like, up more stuff, because this is the problem. Like, I feel like I've seen them all, yeah. but it's the same thing. It's the same thing with the Boing Boing channel, where you, mm-hmm. you go around and you get to it, and there's the there's this uh, one, I think, brother and sister duo that do uh, a medley, a cartoon medley of songs, where they rotate, and one sits and sings into the camera, and then they move to the piano and do that yeah. over and over again, and then they have outtakes at the end that are really good. Then they also have the SF Giants network, because they're, I mean, they're the official airline of the SF Giants, which is cool. But then there's just a network dedicated to the Giants that I've never seen anywhere else. All year round. That does not feature the Hunter Pence video we made. Yeah. Virgin America, silly. you are allowed to take the Hunter Pence video, put it on there. We don't care. Yeah. You're also welcome to give us a YouTube channel. We curse a lot. Yeah, I don't know if that's a problem for you. But they're really good, too, about like with the YouTube channels. Last thing I'm going to say about this is they choose channels that you don't need to hear. You can just watch mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. get what's happening. Yeah. Like the... Um, GoPro one, you can just watch that and it's cool. Or like BuzzFeed, they choose BuzzFeed videos that like put the words on the screen and like the stats and it'll be like a list video, but like you don't need to hear it. It's really cool. I mean, yeah. it's like, oh, cool. there's something on to look at. I like it. Good for them. Virgin America is the best. Yeah. Full of unsung heroes. Full of, and the, the video is full of unsung heroes and sung heroes. And then the people I've mentioned who are just people in the video. Which was three of them. Background singers for one part. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. And the, oh, there's also the guy who I, this is always the other thing that hangs me up. There's the kid, right? They, we need the one they're like, we need your attention or whatever, where the kid's playing something. And I can't tell what it I'm usually awesome. I can tell you that's a PSP, that's a Vita, that's what he's playing something, I'm not sure what it is. And they come out and they put the headphones down like that, and he gets all offended, but then his dad's like, Assuredly it's a Vita. Yeah. It better be. Engage. Sir Richard Branson knows what's up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Game Over Greggy show each and every week. Four, sometimes five best friends gather around this table. We bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, hey, give us some money. Go over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny where you can donate to us, be part of the thing. It's basically a subscription service where you can get the video and or MP3 early 
and you'll enjoy it. If not, you go to Bandcamp or Vimeo, buy them a la carte. If you don't want to do any of that, you don't have the money, your view is good enough, just coming here and being part of the conversation is good enough, go to youtube.com slash kindoffunny where the Game Over Greggy Show is posted day by day, topic by topic, the Monday after. We put it all up on Patreon. Sometimes it's Sunday. Most times it's Monday. Week. This week's Monday. Yeah, I noticed that. You threw me off. What? Well, kept me on my toes. I know. It's a five of us thing. And there's five of us. Just the five of us. <laughs> we can make it. Not even nearly as good as the song as the version of America song. No. <laughs> Melissa, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Did you have fun? I had a great time. Yay, you guys are awesome. Too. Were you scared coming to my house? No. I had like a moment of thinking like, damn, what if someone like got hold of his phone and they're like, come to my house for this like... I just for some reason didn't know that you filmed. We do it here. Yeah. I'm not scared. Okay, good. Oh. No. I'm not and then scared. I got psyched. I'm not scared. <laughs> you, should have, you should use that as a quote for other deals. <laughs> <laughs> the like, the guests have quote. spoken and they love being on the game. We're, We're not scared. scared. Um, everybody can find you, of course, in The Walking Dead. They yeah. should follow you on Twitter. They should. It's been up here the whole time, but if you're oh, listening awesome. to the if you've been listening the, the MP3 and you haven't been watching anything, Melly Hutch at Melly Hutch. Yes. That's easy. It is. I don't like that your name isn't Hutchinson. You don't have oh an N in my there. God. It throws me off all the I time know. when I talk about it. I know. It. I know. You and 99.9% of the world. You, does that annoy you? Is that um, like, is that like a female orgasm to you? I'm kind of over it. If yeah. people say Hutchinson, I move on You just nod. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hutchinson. I should have a better stage name in general. It should just be like Melly Hutch or Melissa Hutch or oh, Melly Hutch the, Hutch. Hutch. the Hutch. The Hutch. Oh, the that's, Hutch. That's what Gavin kind of coined with me is he uh, calls me the Hutch. And it's okay. stuck and I like it. Mm. Hutch is mm. good. Mm. Yeah, Hutch, the yeah. Hutch. You need to find a Starsky. Yeah, I oh, do right. need a Starsky. That is a dated reference. Can I be your Starsky? <laughs> I, I totally got it. Cause yeah. I used no, we all got it because we're all, all right. old. We're yeah. all old people. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Until next time, bye. <laughs>